if you wrapped up in your emotions based off some uh, fucked up thoughts in your mind, mm-hmm. then your willpower, your will is fucked up. Right, right, right. Yeah, you you won't have a you won't have a good. That will not work. Bro. You gotta get the real. Right. Yeah, yeah, you won't have a hey. good, you won't have a good wheel. So look, let me tell you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause we, we got to get the formalities on deck. If you don't know, now you know what it is, <laughs> what it was, what it gonna be like. This your big dog DJ Big House checking yes, in this sir. thing, Ghost. broadcasting live from the playground. You know, hey. with my dog HB Heartbeats and get what? It's still. If you ain't got a heartbeat, you ain't yeah. breathing. Mm-hmm. You, you understand yes, that? Sir. Goddamn, we got one of the OGs in the building. You know what I'm talking about? Wayne Grind is here with womp, us. Yes, sir. Womp, womp. You dig that? And uh, today's a little uh, different than normal. <laughs> you understand that? Because uh, we got some game on top of game. You know what I'm talking about? We got some real niggas in the building. You understand yes, that? Sir. If you don't know what I'm talking about, who I'm talking about, get what? The illustrious Charles yeah. White is in the building. What's yeah. up with it, big dog? Hey, shit, what's up with it, my nigga? <laughs> shit, yeah. Kicking shit, goddamn. Oh, uh, appreciate you sliding down on this old, uh, in this old Hattiesburg, Mississippi. You did, Good Monday. Hey, Good the, Monday. The, the Good nigga, Monday. The nigga didn't want to come. Guess what the nigga told me? Hmm. The nigga said, nigga, you think I'm motherfucking crazy? I'm going to fly to New Orleans and drive an hour I, and a half I, with I, a motherfucking nigga I don't know. Yeah, nigga, no, no, nigga. nigga, nigga I, yeah, I, ain't I, mean, I wish I wouldn't have <laughs> took this motherfucking <laughs> Yeah, now I already got I mean, I got to ride in the car with a nigga for an hour. I, every, hey, every move I seen like that, the nigga come up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, then when I pull up, guess what the nigga said? He said, this nigga still a nigga like a big killer. Yeah, I said, oh, man, they, oh, my microphone done went off. Where my microphone? Mine too. Yeah, my microphone, microphone went off. You said microphone, microphone without yeah, going out. Microphone check, my microphone, microphone pull check. Out. Oh, no, y'all good. Y'all Gucci. For real, I check. can't hear me, though. Hear oh, you can't hear you? I can hear me. Yeah, yeah. The headphone, I can yeah. hear me. Make sure oh. the headphones ain't cut, uh, cut down. Hello? No, they up. Oh, they up? Well, shit, come on, let's you talk. Did they come unplug? Yeah, yeah. You, you hear yourself now? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Uh, okay, that would But now, nah, man, uh, uh, yeah, man, that hour ride scared me. Yeah, that nigga <laughs> said, man. Nigga want to take me on a ride. Hey, look, I had an inbox and say, bro, you you with a real nigga, bro. You good. You in good hands, man. That's my big Yeah, bro. they done switched from heartbeat yeah. to Wayne. Nah, nah, I don't know no more nah, who nah, is Wayne. Nah. 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 But you know Wayne what always been the killer. This nigga fly everywhere. He yeah. book all the rooms, right. so he the perfect person to handle that situation. Yeah. For you. That's the reason why when it got to that point, I just said, you know, Wayne. Uh, you feel me? I seen the movie Life. Yeah, this where a nigga get tricked at down here in the country. Right, right, right Yeah, right, right. yeah. The <laughs> slick nigga like me come down here thinking I'm sharp and city slick. Right. Yeah, yeah, nigga get played out in British down here, man. So, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no, I was, no, yeah, I no, had to no, put extra man. security on. We're good. You with the heroes, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Life, nah, man, we, all, we did our research, man. Did, hey, man, so, tell us, how this journey been for you, man? This journey you on, man? It's uh, roller coaster ride. Uh, uh, I, I learned a, uh, I, I learned a word in, in British British literature uh, in college. Uh, it's sublime, right? Uh, okay. It's like like uh, a, a heavenly experience. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, yeah, every day I be saying, man, nigga, must be finna get ready to die. Yeah, cause this shit too good. It's all, it's like a dream coming true. Right, right, right. Uh, so uh, so shit, nigga, I just watch it play out like everybody else. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm just watching it play out, uh, but capitalizing uh, along the way. Right. Uh, so if 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 so, my main focus at this point now is uh, if if I can't reap the rewards, uh, my children will. <laughs> so right. yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah. So so I can mm-hmm. I can I, I I I'm I'm gonna uh, I got the experience of, of going through this right. Uh, I don't have the knowledge of the entertainment industry, mm-hmm. uh, so I'm gonna miss a lot of money. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. Uh, well, I, I have. So let me. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, saying to, uh, uh, yeah, we uh, ain't gonna miss no money. Uh, so, so you know, in the process of this, uh, you, you know, I, I done missed a lot of money uh, from the lack of knowledge, uh, right. not knowing the industry. Right. But in the process of it, uh, I've, I've solidified a, a legacy. Uh, through through trademarks and, and brands and, and merchandise and, and copyrights, uh, I, I built a platform uh, that that my children will, will be able to benefit from. That's good. Uh, mm-hmm. And and not just my children, uh, but but my community, uh, the village, those those that's associated with me. So uh, uh, I purposely uh, demonetize uh, my YouTube channel so I can I can uh, be what I need to be. For my people, right. and use my platform mm-hmm. to help my people get on. Right. Uh, right. So I'm I'm less restricted uh, with a demonetized channel. Uh, I can push the limits and, and and keep making it grow. 
uh, and, and, and pass the ball from this position uh, and, and, and the people I pass the ball to, it, it's easier for them to score mm-hmm. from the position I'm passing from. Right, 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 right. That's hard. Putting niggas in position. Yeah, we yeah, don't, we yeah. Don't, we, You know what, bro? Let me just say this. Watch, 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 yeah. watch what we do with this. The, watch, the, watch what the, we do with this channel. The game, but the game, the screen, the game, the world need more people like you because, like, you get people that get in positions, they want to lock you out. Like, I see you throwing a lot of niggas at it who's like, that's how I feel too. Like, if you're going to be around me and hang around me, you need to be able to get some money or something. Fair. I'm going to have an opportunity on the table for you. Uh, when, a, when a young nigga come to prison, young right. nigga go to jail, mm-hmm. and, 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 and he don't know how to use the pay phone. Right. When he look around in that holding tank, this is his first time in jail. He just in here on tickets. Right, right. And, and he can get out if he knew how to use the phone. Right, right. Who do we ask to use the phone? And there's black man in there. Right. Uh, it's supposed to be somebody to tell him without him even asking. Yeah. Right, right, right. Say that. Since you said that, you know what? With the prison system, that's that's crazy because with with, with all the races you got, if if white boys come, if a black, white boy come to the door, mm-hmm. regardless, he don't have to be in no gang. He ain't got to know no fucking body. Guess what? Them other white boys going to get him and they going to tell him everything he need to know. They going to feed him. They going to make sure he call home. They going to make sure he got draws. Mm-hmm. They going to do all that. When a nigga come through that door, if he ain't got no big bag, guess what the mother Oh, that nigga ain't got nothing. Yeah, uh, yeah. That hey, listen. Fuck that nigga. Hey, listen. But check <laughs> this out. Check this out. That white boy can come through there without nothing too, and them niggas will do the same thing for that white boy that the white boy do for him. So mm-hmm. will. Either to fuck him or love on him. So, fuck him. Yeah, Ooh. fucking love on him. Yep. So yeah, will. yeah. They want to what? Scared. But the they, white boys be trying to get him for a nigga. Fucking love man, on him. They, well, they know yeah. once that nigga yeah. get him, it ain't no. I, they, he can't save him no more. Once he go black, he can't go back. Say once that nigga push that dick off that white boy ass, he that white boy know he can't get him no more. He got to fight too many niggas for that white boy. They yes, called back and said we lost one. It ain't too many niggas tough enough to go get that white boy back from that nigga once that nigga get him. Uh-uh. No, nah, it ain't too many white boys tough enough. Gonna to kill about that it's some niggas that can go get that nigga from them white boys, but uh-uh. it ain't too many white boys tough enough to go get that white boy back from that back nigga. from them niggas. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Say that. Yeah. That's, that's, my, <laughs> pe- that's my peach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy, this is what? A whole prison ride to break out around uh, the state nigga, behind that one and, white boy. And this niggas go ride with him. Yeah. About that booty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my nigga, little white boy. We we tore up the town behind him. Yeah, that's how I got a story behind <laughs> that. Right. That ain't hey, saying that's just for the people that don't know and those that know. That's <laughs> yeah. for those yeah, that yeah, know. For real. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But but it, it, it need to be some insight. So y'all youngsters that's out there playing with y'all freedom, playing with y'all life, man. When you go inside that wall, it's a whole nother ball game. I'm looking it's for a nigga right now. We we've been we've been doing casting calls for an audition for a booty bandit. <sighs> We've been looking for yes, a nigga. Indeed. We've been looking for a nigga that's a, a self-identified, proclaimed, proud booty bandit. Independent he got a woman now, but he was a booty bandit in prison, and he used to take it. Right. I'm looking for him. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Them, <laughs> them niggas from the seventies. Them old niggas that had the key to the to the tank. Right, right. Yeah, the guards used right, to get them right, niggas the key. Right, right, right. Yes, yeah. Go in there and wake one up. Get on yeah, top of yeah, and you know, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm looking for them niggas to come tell the story. And then I want I want them niggas I wanna find a rapper that can give me some songs about it. Yeah, we can't just have a killing Ooh, song. Ooh, that's gonna be a hard order right there. Yeah, no, nah, I mean if just well, think, nah, 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 they got some of them boys out here too. So well, well, just, yeah, but they ain't rapping but, about that. But no, nah, just think, man, nah, listen, it's a nigga that been raped. It's a nigga that done been raped before that rap. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that shit. rap about it. Yeah. Hmm. Rap about that's buddy. too that's too sensitive for for folks to, to man, tap man, into. That, man, you know what's what more sensitive than smoking tucker? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. For shit, real. man, what's more sensitive than smoking tucker? And his mama got to hear the song, right? Okay. And she just had another baby. I agree with you on that. Yeah, nah, now, man. Now, but who gonna t- who gonna t- say that about themselves? I mean, I'm in in, in the expressive. I I could get it. Somebody being real expressive about it and like, okay, I gotta release this right here. But right. just in a general sense, you know what I'm talking about? I got. Oh it. man, they li- we living in a day and time now. That's all right. They, nah, it on. might. It yeah, might. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You say we, yeah. we in a day and time. So come on out the closet, boy. <laughs> yeah, say come on out the closet. Don't let don't. <laughs> I think Lil Nas X playing. I really don't think Lil Nas X is gay. I think they just Dog, use him to I play. Go, on I ain't gonna care. I've been at the same way ever since he came out. 
you don't think Nas gay? I, I really, I, I don't really think he gay. I huh? think that's a ploy. Yeah, I but think that's he, a ploy. He's cool. He's good. I, to didn't he play say he wasn't that. gay? Yeah, but I, he could be faking though. Again, yeah. check, he he, he didn't already he didn't already yeah. did this with you. Tough, he didn't already right. threw you up. So yeah, it's like, yeah. how, where you gonna go at? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You don't see him with, with no dudes. No. You don't see him with no females. You kind of see him by himself. Or that football playing nigga kissed that Asian boy during the draft. Remember Michael Simon? Yeah, yeah. Now he was gay. Right. Yeah, we ain't seen Lil Nas X do none of that shit. <laughs> yeah, that they kicked him out of football because he was too gay. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, real shit, yeah. though. Real yeah, shit. no, hell no. He went to the Cowboy, too, didn't he do? Man, look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jerry That's Jones. your boy over there. Yeah, hey, I that's your I boy say, listen, I don't like football. <laughs> Basketball, either. Come on. I ain't yeah. no why? sports fan. Why? I'm a domino playing nigga. Okay, hey, man. Shout yeah, out to my pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody I'm, I'm a domino spade yeah. myself, but I, I'm, I'm hard pressed. I play ball, you know what I'm talking about. Bad taste, they left a bad taste in my mouth for sports when they pa- uh, came with that no pass, no play. What's oh, that? man. What's boy, that? shit, you failed. Y'all don't know about that. Oh, you oh, talking about you, uh, he, Yeah, he, in school. Yeah, yeah, got, if you don't pass, yeah, if you don't you pass. You can't play. Yeah, Professor, got them, if you yeah, drop down, they would even go uh, say, you got to have an 82. They'll give you a number. You have an 82. If you ain't got an 82, no pass, no play. It's a, it's yeah, a they, yeah, they took the fun out of sports when niggas had to be but smart. But you know what, though? That, right, that, so that, the dumb niggas was good. Yeah, all the dumb niggas were good in the month. That's why niggas turned to crime. Yeah, for real. Because niggas had to play. Man, nigga, I know niggas couldn't read or write, but they were star quarterbacks. Yes, indeed. Man, I, I, I yeah, nigga with that, can though. run play like a motherfucker, but can't read them. But that was the way to lock us out too, now. But yeah, no, nah, but that, the, that, I, at the same know. time, though, I mean, you got to think this was in middle school, goddamn yeah. high school. That, that was late eighties. So, that when they came with that late eighties, nah, nah, mid eighties, by mid, yeah, mid to late, yeah, by mid eighties, yeah. yeah. They were probably doing that just trying to encourage the kids to make better grades, right, yeah. right. Because yeah. you want to play sports, you got to be, yeah, yeah. nigga. But but, yeah. but but it backfired, you know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't was, say it backfired. No, no, because them nigga went to prison and became great readers. No, nigga, when they got to prison, they knew how. To read already. Hey, and you gotta think the oh, motherfuckers oh, who are really on they shit the, 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 could double over and actually get a degree in so in something and they got yeah. them do they ball I mean it, it panned out per right, you know right, what I'm right. talking about well, they, able to bring some of the family <laughs> out of the uh out of their little situations you know what I'm talking well, about you got, you I don't got, think books had nothing to do well with that. yeah you gotta look yeah. at well Michael Irvin them you see how hard they gotta work with Michael Irvin for him to sound smart on the on the on the <laughs> shit <laughs> This man here. You see how hard they got to work with Michael Irvin? They know that nigga couldn't read and he was on that deal. No, but but you see most of the sportscasters, they got to get on television and talk. They got to, yeah, no, man. Today's sports niggas can't give interviews. Hmm. A, a majority of people can't. They, they can't, can't give a damn. They, them old niggas they couldn't either. Smart, right, no, right. the old niggas didn't have to right. be smart. They so be they smart. didn't, nigga, uh, Darl Dawkins and them couldn't talk. Right. Uh, they couldn't talk, but they were still in front of that microphone. These motherfuckers get in front of that now and they get, yeah. Yeah, they dumb in the okay. now. Yeah. I, I, I thought I was going to do it, <laughs> but that them, was. These them standardized You know what I'm talking about? These old yeah. five-word yeah. answers. Like, what the fuck you doing, man? Like, Pretty that would get cool. on some artists. I know you be fucking with them, but goddamn, on the <laughs> artist. I hate to interv- interview an artist and goddamn, you you got, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> well, what you got going on there? She, my cousin, them, they were doing that too. Like, it's just drab, no, no, nothing to yeah, it. You know, yeah. they, you can't but talk go, about nothing but like that. Goes back to this: you don't have a story. Yeah, have a story. they don't have a story. Yeah. They don't uh, have a story. That's why niggas do dumb shit to create a story. Yeah. They don't have stories, and that's the dumbest shit ever to create some dumb shit. <laughs> uh, just, <laughs> like, like, let me let me just say this, homie. When when Plies first came to the scene, I loved that nigga. Nigga, we thought Plies was a street Real nigga. Real street nigga. I loved that, that nigga. Wait, hey, and that nigga wanted. One of the most articulate, educated, so but he mm-hmm. came with a slang and a persona that made you think he was a kind of country sounding slang talking street nigga. And he supported yeah. the prison system. I was in prison, nigga. I turned to a fan. Say, homie, that, listen. Now, now, nah, nah, listen. When, he, when that nigga used to come to Dallas, homie, and, and used to stop stop the show and ask who got out of prison, you know, and the Thor nigga five yeah. stack. Yeah, he fucked with niggas from prison. That's real what life, real nigga shit. With it. Yeah, but, the real. but but let me just say this. He had to come with that street gangster nigga persona mm-hmm. to grab the people's attention and hearts. Right. He couldn't come who he really is. That nigga really funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He articulate. Yeah. Uh, he'll keep compassion. You a funny motherfucker too. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize that. That's, that, that's what yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Song, funny I produced one for Plyer back then. And that's oh, yeah. exactly what it was. Like a hard, like street struggle, struggle song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he was he was smart enough. To tap into the niggas who love their mama, uh, 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 you know, they uh, family in jail. Yeah, the, the yeah. hundred years. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, uh, he got charisma. Yeah. So he was able to win people over in in interviews. Uh, these today's artists can't win nobody over because they can't give an interview. 
Right. Uh, they can't tell you where they came from and not be ashamed of their truth. Right, right. right. So they got to dock it up. They got right. to try to mm-hmm. uh, spice it up. Uh, man, where the crack babies at? <laughs> what happened to the crack babies? What at? What, they what? Molly babies now. Man, I only know, <laughs> listen, I only know one nigga I ever heard say, man, I'm a crack baby. My mom was on crack. I was born on crack. I- I'm sorry, there was two niggas. Adolph Thornton yes, sir. and another little nigga out of Dallas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I once said, man, when you look at where, where, where Adolph came from and how he ended, <laughs> uh, that nigga surpassed life's expectations when Definitely. he was born a crack baby. Definitely. Right, 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 By right, all right. measures. For right, sure. Right. So, so we got a whole generation of crack babies that we can't identify anymore. That's right. But they still got the same struggles and the issues that they was born with that they never overcame. <laughs> Say that. Real life. So we've been producing kids after we've been producing after crack babies. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And with, this is what we see today. With less and less guidance. Damn. Yeah. Everybody against everybody. Motherfucker come out the wound against you. Well, her, her, well here it is. The crack baby wasn't loved. Mm. Mama dropped him off and hit the door. Right. Or CPS came and took him and he had to go to a family member. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. So nine times out of ten in <laughs> our era, it wasn't no 35-year-old grandmamas during the crack era, right? Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Big, big mama. For big real. mama. Big mama. Yeah. Right. They was getting mowed down. They was getting tired. Not only did they have to deal with the crack babies. They had to deal with the mothers who produced the crack babies, who at times was stealing from them, right. huh. going to jail, got uh-huh. the kids, done turned the kids against them. Oh, my God. Your grandmama and issue. Huh. So they done, they done sold seeds of division. The whole time, grandmama frustrated, right? Right, right. Nigga, this is across every hood in America. Grandmama frustrated, so she might be whooping ass too much. Every now and then she get mad, calling you ugly mother. Sit your ugly ass down somewhere. <laughs> down bad right. on you, real quick. You, you see what I'm saying? But it, it's, it's out of love, but those ugly words out of love still cause hurt and that's pain. Shit, hurt. Yeah. That's right. You gotta watch that's, that's it. It's some nigga right now today right. got to buy pussy because grandmama said he was ugly when he was five. <laughs> He ain't got no confidence in, in talking and getting a haircut, going to go get a woman. He got right. to reach what? in his pocket and show his money. He got to show right. his car because he think he ugly. Right. Look, mama the first person that broke my heart. You hear a lot of niggas say that shit. Mama, grandma, first first person to break my heart. Whatever they did to that to that boy when they were young, they come up and that shit's only women. You know what I'm talking about? I got, a real vi- extra I, got, shit. I got a video of a 11 year old boy, 12 year old boy, drop kicking his grandmama. God, Somebody damn, sent it to I me seen right this. Ain't nobody yeah, whoop his ass. Ain't Man, nobody whoop his ass. They look like they scared of him. Shit, see, 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 the big bullet. He's see, the see, 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 this is what's happening, homie. He said well, all it takes hey, is one kick. You see that, grandma? All see, it takes see, is one kick. Hey, hey, see, when they, get by, when they get by 12 or 13, nigga, what Pac say? When I get my weight up with my hate, I'm going to pay them back when I'm bigger. That's right. Every young nigga saying when I'm getting bigger, what I'm gonna do yeah <laughs> so your mama gone you resent grandmama just because your mama gone that's and, right. gr- and right. you resent grandmama because you go resent anybody who have to establish law and order right right mm-hmm. right but that can be any whoever it, anybody got your mm-hmm. best interest yeah. whoever yeah. have to establish yeah. law and order yeah. yo yo if i have to tell you no so what tends to happen is they start doing this Yes, sir. That's the intimidation tactic. Right, right, right. If grandmama don't say, boy, I don't give a damn about that, I'll knock your motherfucking ass out. It, 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 so he testing the water. Right, see how far he can go. Yeah. Nigga, back in our day, you get your motherfucking ass knocked out looking at me like that. You, you better fix would. your motherfucking. Yeah, no, nah, you better not huff and puff. My mom was good. Yeah. She didn't even have to look. She knew what so, that was. So, oh, was. boy. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> this so, was that I, reflex, boy. I, look, I got that from my grandma, I, nigga. That shit, they're real. <laughs> so, they go on to start slamming doors. Right. Next thing you know, they punching holes in the wall. <laughs> next thing you know, they hitting their little sister. Now, next thing you know, they whooping the uncle that's coming through with a drug habit. Hmm. Once right. they whoop uncle, they think they can whoop everybody now in the community. Hmm. Right, right. So now every man they encounter that either challenge them or have to establish law and order, they want to hurt them. Hmm. They want to hurt them. Hurt, hurt, hurting them is the answer to everything. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, that that's they Causing don't pain to another. They don't know no other. They don't know no, no other, other animals. That's, that's Nothing else but to hurt them. That's yeah, right. Nothing uh, but hurt them. Motherfucker been hurting them. Yeah, motherfucker been hurting them. So that's all they know is to hurt them. Yeah, hurt us. Oh, uh, no, nah, man. Uh, I, I found out. Uh, it, it was some niggas. Uh, that grew up and, and they never could freely open an ice box. They always but, had. They always had to ask. Somebody. Ask for permission. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sir. But I used to be a hurter though. <clears throat> I used to be that type of person. I used to, I used to, I, cause I went through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Growing up without my mom and all that shit, I used to be a hurter. But like then, it got to the point to where I seen. I was like, damn, bro, this, this really not who I am. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I know love. I come from I, with both of my parents. Like it's not who I am. You know what I'm saying? It's not mm-hmm. who I want to be. Motherfucker scared of me. Don't want to look at me. Don't want me come around. I don't want to be that person. Oh, uh, nigga, for, we we had a for, good life. And man, I remember I was probably about ten years old. Man, my brother, we were watching television. And out of nowhere, this nigga said, "Man, when I grow up, I'm gonna kill somebody." <laughs> man, I looked at that the nigga, fuck? ran downstairs, went and told, "Mama!" What man, the nigga fuck? scared that nigga scared the shit out of me. <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Mama, that Kevin say when he grow up, he gonna kill somebody. <laughs> Boy, come out! And she tore his ass up. What? What? But, but when he grow up, what he did? He killed somebody. Damn. But come on. he wanted a daddy, homie. Right. Yeah, he wanted his daddy. Oh. Uh, Damn. Look, have y'all ever watched these little niggas play Call of Duty with the headphones on? I I haven't watched watch oh. like that, but I've seen. You were how I've, angry they say. Oh, of course, me nigga, they going. Nine Fuck to you, up and the people hey. on the receiving end. Yeah. yeah, nigga, what y'all nigga mad for? Fuck y'all it. playing the game? <laughs> nigga, no, nah, that that's that's life, nigga. This I, at that moment we in the metaverse right there, nigga. I'm shooting you say, and killing and you. The, it's the, real. And these God. people that don't Damn. know each other, right? And I'm saying, why is everybody on there angry, homie? Everybody, yeah. Angry. Angry. So, so peep game. They on the game with these guns in a joystick form. Right. When they put it down, what do they pick up? The real one. Mm-hmm. Real show. With the same anger. They went with the same anger. They make this shit pop for Bow. real. With nigga, the same. I'm, I'm, I'm giving me a body, baby. nigga. Body. Mm-hmm. These niggas say body for a body. Body mm-hmm. for a body. Yes, sir. Yeah. The little girls, what's that little girl Asian doll say? I got to have me a nigga with at least three bodies. Huh? Mm, dang. Ain't that what that little girl said? Yeah, hey, man. She said that, bro. Well, I right. bet she got some good pussy. <laughs> <laughs> a boy hey. this lady, this lady, this lady say, yeah, fuck, any, fuck is there any bitch want a nigga that done killed three people got to be a good fucking motherfucker. Hard fucking motherfucker. Yeah, you keep your thumb in her ass the whole time. Say, what's up, Asian doll? Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gonna let you flip her right. and everything. You can fuck her passed out drunk, and she won't say nothing. Long as you put her panties back on, she ain't gonna say nothing. No nah, man, that's y'all. She the kind wake, of gal wake you don't need. Day, wake up the next day and act like she don't remember what happened. Yeah, yeah, asshole, so in the motherfucker. Did we do it last right. night? You know we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know this what we do every time you get fucked up. Yeah, yeah. You talking about? That's why you get fucked up. Chiming on to the <laughs> day. Goddamn, y'all do. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta get into some of this real, man. Cause goddamn, you have been an enigma on this uh, goddamn net for intentionally. You dig for for a two uh, at least two years, goddamn. Yeah. I, I think, but you date back way further than that with a whole hell of a lot more. You know what I'm talking yeah, about yeah, substance yeah, yeah. behind it, man. Let us dive back a little bit, man, and get these folks some real substance of like where you came from, how, how all this started up. You know what I'm talking uh, about? Yeah, I damn near blew it all. Uh, uh, showing my Peter every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had got all that attention, and I thought it was a bunch of women in the crowd. I didn't know that. I, 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 didn't, I listen. I didn't know it was a bunch of niggas. I didn't know nothing about analytical data. Dude. Right. So I'm thinking it's women watching me. Right. Yeah, man. I used to pull that Peter out with that Dolomite game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I was getting put in Facebook jail, and I was, I was losing my Facebook fan page. And then I got hip to analytical data and realized that 95% of my audience was niggas. <laughs> so I said, well, I'm going to keep flashing that Peter. Maybe them niggas will leave. Right, right. Thinking it'll be like road spray, repellent. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah, them niggas ain't go nowhere. So I had to change up. <laughs> yeah, I had to switch up. Okay. Yeah, I stopped that shit. <laughs> yeah, I quit immediately. So, <laughs> I, like hey, that. listen, homie. I, uh, uh, man, I had I had uh, a Tiffany Haddish manager, uh, uh, Tony Mercedes had hit me up, and they was saying, nah, man, can't nobody do nothing with this nigga. This nigga pulling his dick out every day, every day. He don't want, yeah, he want to be a porn star. He don't want to do nothing. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm just angry at niggas. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Because these niggas fucking with me online, and I'm saying, man, where was you niggas at when I was online showing community work? 
Right. Yeah, yeah, now, now yes. yeah, right. now I'm just frustrated, nigga. Just you know, uh, yeah. who rhyme with you, right. niggas, mm. trying to you know stumble up on the YouTube channel. Right. Uh, so you know, in the process of me, man, uh, you know, just sharing my frustrations and, and my community insight and outlook, uh, I became a fisherman of men. Man, I'm gonna ask you this, <clears throat> man. What's up with you and the say cheese situation? I thought y'all were pretty cool. Oh, uh, we are. Yeah, yeah, we playing on the internet. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, that shit yeah. don't be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he lying, and I'm telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, we playing on the internet. Uh, but the nigga, uh, he, he a good little dude, man. Uh, mm-hmm. he just a, he just a weirdo to real niggas. And, and what I mean by that, uh, you know, uh, communication. Uh, if, if you can go, uh, explain, uh, on a podcast. Uh, I mean, you can tell me, right? Uh, you know, I'm. Uh, you know, we had a great working relationship. Uh, we got plenty of money together. Can it be fixed? No, no, you can't hurt my feelings, nigga. Don't hurt my feelings. <laughs> no, nigga, you can't hurt my feelings and don't hurt my feelings. Yeah, no, nah, man. I ain't like. I ain't like his mama. Yeah, no, nah, man. Uh, homie, I'm a man of principle. And, and 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 I'm loyal and, and I'm committed, and, and not you know not. Uh, man, man made a lot of money off me, and I never asked for nothing. Uh, I just thought he was a good kid. Uh, he didn't blow me up. He don't use his channel to blow nobody up. Right. Uh, nobody takes a nobody and put them on their channel to blow them up. Right, right. Hmm. I was already blown up, right. Uh. We assisted one another. I understood that I don't necessarily have to get money. Uh, he gave me uh, uh, an avenue to a youth audience. Right, right. So I was able to captivate the minds and the hearts of young people uh, through his channel while he made a lot of money off me. Hmm. Uh, and so when I began to grow and, 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 and learn uh the YouTube game, the podcast game, uh, the 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 entertainment. Uh, I started reaching out to major players within the Dallas Fort Worth area, uh, and saying, "Hey, we all got big platforms, homie. We can make and break this industry. Right, we can, we right. can. Right now, I can make a star overnight. Hmm, right, fact. I'm in a position to make us right. make the industry look we're at something. We're gonna do that for real. Yeah. So, yeah. so, uh, so, homie, I, I I got everybody together, not knowing the history. I'm just a nigga trying to build a nation of uh, uh, black people. So uh, I get uh, Big Chief, Rainwater, uh, Say Cheese TV, uh, and, 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 and we sit down and have a discussion. And uh, they had some history that I wasn't aware of, right? The old right. versus young, right? I'm from Fort Worth, they from Dallas. And so uh, Say Cheese TV left that night uh, and I never heard from him again. He called Rainwater and said, uh, man, Charleston going backwards. I didn't blow him up and give him this. He said he didn't blow you up? He no, said. He's saying he, I, I didn't blow him up just to. To be helping Big Chief. Okay. What he doing with Big Chief? Big Chief washed up, man. He's a rap- So right. he got mad at me for fucking with Big Chief. And I never heard from him again. So I would call. So uh, Rain called. And I'm like, well, shit, homie, why he won't tell me? He like, man, well, Sean feel like, I'm like, well, shit, homie, I didn't, you know, why won't he call to tell me? So we had already had a prior engagement uh, to go speak at uh, speak at the schools. Uh, and so I was calling him, not just to, you know, have that conversation with him about that, but also to, uh, you know. About the shit. About the schools, about yeah. Go. Uh, so I called him for about two weeks, homie, never heard from him. So I called Rainwater and said, say, homie, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna delete that nigga Sean. Yeah, that nigga. Yeah, that nigga hurt my feelings. Man, why that nigga ignore me, homie? I thought that nigga was my partner. Right. So, uh, yeah, I deleted the nigga number out my phone, so I wouldn't even have you know, cause I like the little nigga, homie. That's my little partner. Uh, but when a motherfucker show his flaw, you take it for what it is. You don't be mad at nobody for who they are. Mm-hmm. You you treat them according right. and you deal with them according to right. how they are, but you don't never right. get mad at a person for who right. they are. Right, because I might have some fucked up ways too. Yeah, right. so uh so nah, homie, so uh, you know, uh my little feelings were hurt, so I you know, man, I ain't fucking with that nigga no more, homie, because if he can't come tell me I done wrong, 
how I know I done wrong. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to think, well, shit, man, maybe I am fucking up, you know, fucking with Big Chief, these old rappers. Maybe I should stay focused on the youth. So, yeah, I quit fucking with Big Chief, homie. Uh, you know, and I told Big Chief, nah, man, my little partner quit me over you, man. And he couldn't even understand. Right, right. Uh, yeah, Chief couldn't even understand, homie. So, you know, uh, I'm still waiting to hear back the explanation what he telling Boss Talk. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still, yeah, nigga. So, uh, so I'm texting him. I'm calling him. So, shit, how else can you get a nigga's attention? Talk crazy. The internet. Talk crazy. Yeah, what, what motherfuckers say, man, I sent you a message. Everybody communicating on the internet. They won't text your phone. Right. They go send you an invitation to their party on the internet. They go tag you. Well, what if I ain't on there? So, everybody, so I knew if I talk, got his attention on the internet, he'll give me a response and explain to me. Now, I got what I was looking for. He just didn't tell me. Right. He hmm. went to boss talk. I got my explanation now. Yeah, he was feeling some kind of way by whoever he been arguing with over me. Uh, yeah, so he been arguing with people. I've been losing people. Just like people been saying, man, you shouldn't deal with Charleston. People been telling me, man, you shouldn't deal with Sean Cotton. Right. He got more, you know, he got more three kids. He got this, he got. So, man, it's going to be always some people saying something, but I, I ain't never, I ain't never crossed him. He ain't never crossed me. Man, we should have been got on the phone with each other. Nigga, any other time we asked each other calls on the first call. <laughs> Well, I see you and Vlad and jumped off though. Nah, me and Vlad ain't had no no beef. I don't know. No, no, I'm saying y'all just jumped off uh, with the work, working the shit. Oh uh, well, I don't know. I grew Vlad, man. Uh, uh, I, I realized Vlad formula, uh, for how he present, uh, interviews. Not how he do interviews, but how he present interviews is more detrimental to our culture. He's not a culture vulture. Uh, he's taken, he's taken. Amazing stories. Uh, he's taking stories of triumph, stories of redemption, and he's breaking them down to daily narratives. Right, right. He once did an interview with me, two-hour interview, and he stretched that motherfucker out for almost five weeks. <laughs> Over five million views. <laughs> right. By the time you get to the fourth day, I may have said something on the second day that you don't like. Right. Man, fuck that nigga. That nigga, that such, 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 such. And you leave with that. Damn, I ain't even think about that. Right. You do so what now, you leave with. Yeah, you leave mm -hmm. with that. You finna go over there and <clears throat> create a whole new else. narrative. Right. Yeah, right. you ain't coming back to watch no more. Right, hmm. right. Right? Right. Because the whole story's not available for you. Right. If the whole story was available for you, it a, it a, It'll clear a lot of shit up. It'll clear a lot so, of so, shit so, up. So, so, what, oh, so, so, so what we see on the internet now is mass confusion. My mother told me that, that's, that the devil, Satan, is the author of confusion. Yes. So when you look in the comment section, that's why we look so divided. <laughs> he this. No, he that. No, he did. That's why we arguing in the comment section. Right. We arguing over a daily narrative. And we gotta wait a month to get the whole story. <laughs> Man, we done told all kind of stories by the time the whole story come out. That's right. Still letting the whole that's story sure just is. roll out. Yeah. Let yeah. it roll out. So that's why you hear, man, he a snitch. Now, nah, nigga, I say I tell on somebody. But right. well, they never heard the whole story. Never man, heard. he a rapist. Man, now nah, I say we used to grow up doing this. They never heard the whole story. Right, right. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> right. But so 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 what happens is this has been a very lucrative uh, formula for podcasters right. to give you a lie. Right. Hmm. Right. What do you mean by give us a lie? They giving you part of a story. That's a lie. So what we gonna do? We give it part of the story and the whole story. The whole story. <laughs> well, well, let me let me show you. Let, let me show you what the. I, I agree. Let me show you what the professional. Let me show you what the professional people do. They give you a whole story. You ain't never went and seen a fifteen minute movie and they say come back next week. Have you? No. Nope. Mm -mm. Nah, they give you the whole story. The whole story. So you know the right from wrong. There ain't no yeah. Right. Because there's a storyline. There's not a narrative. Right. It's a difference between a story, the back story line. Good guy turns the bad guy. Bad guy turns the good, good guy. guy. Right. That's what Hollywood is built on. It ain't no fucking narrative. It's a story being told. So what we do is we break it down in pieces and we shape the narrative of what the channel want the narrative to be. 
if we want them to look good, we know how to make it look good. Right. So what they call it, clickbaiting. I was just about to say, mm-hmm. clickbait. Yeah. Man, one of the most dangerous things to do to an individual is to take their story and clickbait it. Hmm. Clickbait, what that is, explain that. Oh, uh, basically a headline. So let's just, let's just say for the narrative. Let's just say for the narrative. Already. Some some that he, some just happened to him. He no, I'm I'm just c- c- the- so just give it to no, Wayne no, so no. so he can understand. You know what I'm talking about? Just for what was going on. Just say I took the clip of when when you were talking about Asian doll, right. and I put in there. Uh, Charleston White says fuck Asian doll. Right. And that's 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 the line right. that's going to go out every it's everywhere. Yeah. So they're going to come in there and they just looking for the fact that he said fuck Asian doll. Right. So when they start they they they, they however long the clip is so let's just say the clip is 3 minutes, right? right. So okay, nobody ad, ad put an ad at the end of their stuff saying like that the episode, the full episode coming out such and such or right. it's, it's out right. right now. Catch the whole thing, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's just that right there to to grab your attention. Now sometimes the story can be all fucked up. Right. right. And, 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 and it is it's the teeniest, tiniest little little thing to like the most vulgar uh part of it to grab you and say Charleston White yeah, admits yeah. to raping women. Boom. Right there. Mm-hmm. Nigga gonna Where click gonna on that real that, quick. But guess uh, what? But guess what? Uh uh. We ain't gonna w- do you that. I, I seen one uh Charleston White uh admits to having sex with his cousin. Well, they're not saying nigga talking about getting booty with his cousin as kids. Right. The storyline, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Charleston White says fuck mob ties. Well, they ain't going to tell you the context of motherfuckers saying with well, mob ties this. And I said they ain't never killed no white folk. Right. No, right. nigga, fuck some niggas. That, so, right. no. Nah. So, they go. So, hmm. it's so it's a lot of people know that the clickbait shapes a narrative that'll mm-hmm. put your life in danger. Right, right, right. And there, and that's why they say the media. Uh, my bad. That's why they say the media is messy. You know what I'm talking about? Because motherfuckers will purposely set up their shit just like that. You know what I'm talking about? Now you got some real live OG folks who really out here. They putting the story part of it. Or oh, you know what I'm talking about? It's not. It's it's clickbait, but it's not the 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 negative space. It's goddamn okay. Such and such talks about redemption. Such and such talks about this. You know what I'm talking about? And they just leave it at that. What they're talking about in right. this clip and then add on the end of it a uh, full episode dropping such and such I, I fuck with shit like that See, you know what I'm talking this, about this what, this what Vlad never do you may say something that's headline catching right 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 so they'll right. take what you say and put it in the title right like it may sound it, it may sound yeah. bad yeah but if you listen to the whole context of what he's saying you be saying aha I got it but what tends to happen that headline is so distasteful to some you're a scumbag you're turned off mm-hmm. they not waiting till tomorrow right to or friday right or saturday right fuck you to get you the whole story right he said he do this all he's disgusting and they run with that mhm that's crazy though and yeah. so what so what they're doing is nigga they're destroying inspirational stories right. they're taking away impactful tools hmm. for their gain not for our benefit they don't give a damn who know the truth right and see when the truth get out got them that don't that don't fly those retractions those updates they don't nah. they don't they don't come like that uh-huh. they'll, they'll get you in that space and be like okay that's what it is oh oh well, he he didn't say that. Okay, cool deal. Um, next, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and keep it and keep it right. pushing just Man, like think, that. Yeah. Think about all the shit y'all done heard about me. What they done said about me? Right. Ain't none of it been proven. Nigga, ain't nobody. No, nah, ain't nobody. No, nah, they just go on to the next. Right, hmm. right. Try some more shit. Wait till he fuck up. But you need them type of motherfuckers. Go that's uh, the me. What? Well, uh. You don't need your people to be like that. No, you don't. But, see, but see, Ali, God, see, damn. Ali had a bunch of white reporters that was like that. Oh, boy, boy. When Ali was Muhammad Ali, nigga, and he was the bad, he had a bunch of white reporters like that. God. Like what we got today. Thanks. What no black folks doing niggas like that, homie? Right. We are destroying each other yeah. with our own new black media. We hate each other. When Dick Gregory say... We the media. Look what we have done. This before Dick died. Mm. We our own media. We got we got media outlets, homie, that can spread narratives and, and, and stories across the country that shape minds. Right. Whether it's true or false. Right. Say that. And, right. And, 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 and none of them have never retracted. So we live in an information age. All information ain't true. 
Right. All information. Yep. We think all information is true. Well, I Googled it. Where you get it from? Hiphopcom.news? No. That's not credible. <laughs> not a credible source. Right. That it's is not, not a credible source. No, so not a credible source. So we don't know how to decipher true information from false information. You feel? We don't know how to do it, homie. We think everything that we <clears throat> see provided in the form of information is true. We don't know how to research. And again, if it's directed in towards us, that's why this algorithm shit is just Come like on, it is. Homie. So guess what? If I if, if right now, I'm glad he said that. It, I'm gonna it's, ask blue. That. Go ahead. It, it's blue. It's blue. Uh, it's blue. It's shining white on on the uh, on the wall. Right. If I say that motherfucker's red right there, goddamn it, right. and I put a tint on it, I put a filter on that bitch and say, see, see? then what? It's red. Everybody gonna say, see that motherfucker red, boy. And we stand here like, boy, ain't no way that shit. Why red. you think they bringing us to metaverse world? Come on oh now. Oh my god. Yeah, you could be bro. anything in the that world. Crazy, so 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 peep game, homie. Pay very close attention. Nigga, just four years ago, we could get on any social media platform and see the police killing somebody. Right, right, yep. right. The video was circling every day. Right. If we didn't see that, we saw somebody getting mistreated in jail. We saw some guards mistreating some prisoners. Right. Why we don't see them videos no more? Well, that, it just stopped all of a sudden. By design. That was propaganda. Propaganda. That was political propaganda by way of the algorithms directed mm. toward us yep. to make us move to get the president out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the great, listen, homie, they told us just two years ago that this is the most important election of our lifetime. This one? To get Trump out. Trump get Trump out. Oh, yeah. Remember, that, mm -hmm. that's what the campaigns were. You was with Trump. You still with him. With him. Right. Trump. What, <laughs> listen, listen. What what happened to the greatest election of our life? This is what I. This is what our politicians, this is what our black politicians told us. This is what Jay-Z and them told us. This is what our entertainers told us. Mm -hmm. What happened? Hmm. It's propaganda. Propaganda got Hitler. Uh, propaganda got Germany to wipe out the Jews. That's how Hitler got everybody to go along with what he was doing, propaganda. Mm -hmm. America used propaganda to go against Hitler and by way of cartoons. That's why they created G.I. Joe, cartoons like that. Uncle Sam. Hey. Uncle Sam. Come on. Now. That That's was propaganda. Shit. Homosexuals got propaganda. Propaganda, man. Yeah. We what what's our, what's being propagated to us is Propaganda, violence is right, being propagated. Right, 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 and bullshit. Anytime it's commercialized and advertised, think about the Crips. Right. A destructive, murderous organization. And if you walk into this courtroom as an identified Crip, we're going to maximize your sentence. If you're an identified Crip, you're going to go to a hardened place. Right, right. Mm. Everything is going to be enhanced on your ass for being a Crip. Right. How is it a Crip can perform on a national stage at one of the biggest platforms throwing up Crips, celebrating this destructive organization, Crip Walking? Right. How do I not want to be a Crip when y'all are celebrating this Crip on stage in a Crip uniform? Yeah, that's but crazy. if I that's come crazy. to be, if I show up at school Cripping tomorrow, I'm going to get punished. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. It's propaganda. That's crazy. Say that shit. We ain't caught on yet, we homie. Propaganda. Up, homie. Yeah, we lost. We fucked up. Media, that, media crazy, being bro. controlling the narrative, goddamn, and, and pushing the point for years. Oh uh, well, 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 yeah. well, well. This, 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 him. this beyond <laughs> the media. When, the, when, the, when it's the nigga actor. When, the, when, when, when you couldn't have got man, they called Jane Brown to stop a ride after Dr. King was killed. Boy, saw yeah. that nigga try to jump on stage, James. Tell hold, hold on, nigga. <laughs> so Jane Brown, no, Jay, hold on, no, that nigga tried. They finna touch, turn this bitch up. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, no, that's well, what Jay they told hold on, nigga. Yeah, no, that's what they used to be. Yeah, they, they, they not them kind of entertainers right. no more. No right. way. Right. Uh, right. because they are the tools of propaganda for destruction. Oh, uh, no, nah, they, they, they the tools, homie. Oh, uh, everybody want to step. Everybody, everybody want to step. I mean, why do you want to visibly kill somebody? Why why is that a, a thing you want to wake up in and say, you know what? I'm finna go drill me a nigga real quick. You know, you know what? what I'm talking about? Because it gives you a title of being a real nigga. A real nigga that gets no reward at the end. Regardless mm -hmm. of how many motherfuckers you kill, nobody gives a fuck about a real nigga. <laughs> Boy, say that again. I, I know I know nigga, I saw baby. I saw a nigga, he was about 19, 20 years old fighting with his baby mama. Uh, it is mom and dad to have. 
And she jumped in the car. He arguing like a motherfucker. She tried to drive off. You better not drive off. He put his hand on the door. Bitch, you better not drive off. She drove off and skinned his ass up. <laughs> he was pink in the motherfucker. <laughs> I looked at his daddy. I said, man, y'all let that boy play that game too long. You see how he thought he could stop that car? <laughs> Why wouldn't he let it go? He what thought, why wouldn't he let that motherfucker go? She took him up the street. Oh. It's all, man. Why wouldn't he let it go? Man, that nigga ass was scarred up. All he had to do was let it go. <laughs> this nigga crazy motherfucker. No, man. It got to be something. It, got, it got to be that man, video game shit. Right. <laughs> no. When you think about it, that's, that's for real. All you had to do was let the car go. No, but if you've been playing that shit on the, on the you game. Can, you can fly. But, hey, but yeah. you know what? It's just like life. When shit be dragging you, if Fucking over you, just let it go. <laughs> really? Don't let it keep dragging. <laughs> Fucking let it go. Yeah, no, nah, man. Uh, they uh, see. I think these young niggas think it's a reset button somewhere in life. Oh, no, bro. The, boy, I, you I, hit that on the head. I, I, think think the same, I think the same I, shit. Well, like, as a kid, I used to think I used to think every day you can reset what you done. Mm-hmm. Nah, I yeah. didn't mean to do that yesterday. You can go back and say I'm sorry and everything start over. I used to well, think that. And and another thing, too, though, what I be kind of like, I be feeling this pain because, like, when I was young, I used to, I didn't give a fuck about living. I didn't give a fuck about living. I didn't give a fuck about dying. I didn't give a fuck if I was in prison. Like, I did what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm glad you said that. Uh, that's the clear definition of a uh, illogical individual with an undeveloped brain that's yep. impulsive, right? Yep, that's do exactly. what I want to do. That means what, what I feel. I, yeah. I don't think I do as impulsiveness, yep. right? And that's what kept my ass in prison. Yeah, and and <laughs> and, 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 and and that's why 20 years later, uh, people like me fight for kids like you that go to prison early. Right? Uh, there's no way in the world, uh, uh you could have done what you done, uh. With what with what they know today, right? Uh, man, there's a there's a lot of lot of medical uh data and, and science and, and research uh that says it's it's impossible for a kid to really understand what they're doing, right? Because the brain development, right? Right. So when you ask that little motherfucker, man, why you do that? And they say, I don't know. I don't know. They really don't. Mm-hmm. Really right. don't know. They felt it though. Right. They, so right. they so that's why. Huh. Uh, man, that's why some of the most uh, dangerous people are children if they have to reflect their environment. Say that. Some of the most dangerous people are children if they have to reflect their environment because right. they're not thinking. Right. Think about it. How many young steps, quote unquote, you see around here, got them 12, 13 coming out the right. porch shooting shit? Right. Think about that. And, and all, they, all they see around them is murders and everybody shooting and all that shit. Prime, prime they, right there. They, they, uh, they think now you gotta have that body to be a, to be a man. Oh uh, well, they doing it out of fear now. Yeah, fear. Yeah, they 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 see. Fear the internet. Let me tell see, you. Well, well, let, let me just say this, man. Uh, I got a little nigga, man. Uh, he don't want to kill nobody. So he went to my partner and said, "Say, man, uh, you give me a gun." He twelve years old. All the other young nigga got gun. They breaking the house again. Right. But he wanted a pellet gun. Hmm. You know, my nigga told him. Nigga, you better not get no pill. I'm gonna get you a real goddamn gun. Nigga, Dang. you better not be the only nigga out here without no gun. Right, you out here slipping. You got a better mm-hmm. gun. <laughs> My nigga in the streets. Right. Damn. But ain't this My nigga up? in the streets. But that's the best advice he can give. You gonna get killed by the police with that pelly gun, nigga. Mm, real, huh. real fast. And when you put on one of these niggas and they think and it's they real. So now, nah, if you want a gun, get a real one, nigga. He can't tell him not to. Right, right. Every every other young nigga got one when he go to school. Right. At his, uh, at his back at, In they back Man why these niggas got back But they got well, guns man, in them Motherfuckers don't even, Yeah look Niggas say on one day Said they wear them hoodies Through the uh, summer t- I mean one time and All through the summer I said the motherfucker Got them guns up With Draco Yeah these the Romanian guns It's hot as a motherfucker he got Yeah and they ain't, they ain't never shot them <laughs> they, don't, they ain't never shot them Till they shoot you And then guess what They go back to When them police get them Then they mama's babies again Oh uh, well Oh uh, well Well because This this what happens homie you still a baby when you were pulling the still trigger. Still a baby when you was pulling the trigger, but you thought you was a man. Well, you, well. Hell, it could be uh, even well, worse well, than that. You might have thought, I could shoot this nigga, kill him, and it's not going to mean nothing. Because, again, you thinking in video game mode. Just well, in, in, in spaces uh, like that. You it, ain't developed yet. You got the voice of somebody old in your mind. Right. A, as you maneuvering out here as a young nigga. Right. It's somebody endorsing you. Right. Every young nigga got an older nigga right. endorsing that bullshit right, th- right. the young nigga doing, right? I tell right? my OG nigga, y'all fuck my life up, man. Say, man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I tell him all the time, y'all fuck my life up, man. Yeah, yeah so. I, but I was blessed to straighten it out, though. So when, when you get in trouble, nothing, r- nothing brings reality to the forefront like trouble. No. 
most of the time you escape in trouble when you're a delinquent, when you're a delinquent child. Because they doing this. Yeah. Well, Quick one. They doing this. But when they finally don't do that, like me, nigga, I believe my mama could have got in my mind. When we woke up that next morning to go to court on that murder case, we facing capital murder. Right. We go in there, my homeboy DJ crying like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm really crying on the inside, but I'm playing why, tough. Why? You got the whole up. I say, ah, right, man, look at that nigga cry like a bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nigga. Uh, about two minutes later, the door opened, my mama walk in. Yeah. And my mama had a look on her face, homie, that I ain't never seen. Right. With them tears coming down her face. Right. Shit, I would cry like DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on, right. but I know this look. That oh, ain't I good. know my mama hurt, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, but in my mind, my mama been coming to get me out of trouble. Every time. She can get me out of this. Every time. In my mind, man, mama, you can get me out of this. <laughs> this that time mama finna tell you I can't do nothing. Well, mama, <laughs> mama thinks she can get me out of this. Can he come home on a leg, Monica? <laughs> this way back in the 90s, she was saying stuff. No, nah, man. No, nah, uh -uh. man. He fucked mm. up, man. Yes, yeah, it's a life involved. Yeah. So when my mama realized how much time I was facing, she damn near passed out. He can be sentenced up to 40 years? Dang. 14 years old? They didn't know that. No, nah, they didn't know a kid can, can get 40 years at 14 years old. That's crazy. That's I didn't feel like that. Hell time. yeah. For real? Hell yeah. God, so what? Charleston, he fought against uh, juvenile life. That's like that's shit, like going that's like throwing yeah. a motherfucking child into a lion's den, boy. Uh, ain't gonna uh, make uh, it. Uh, nah, I know plenty of niggas make it. Yeah. Well, well, at this time, society is shifting, right? Because we're the first generation of children who began to commit these kind of crimes in right. America, right? Right. Hmm. You got, you got crack era you got gangs starting to emerge throughout america now you got kids killing right this is the first time in america that has happened so now you got politicians who are running on platforms saying tough on crime tough on juvenile crime right or uh, you got congress and let and 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 and, and, and legislation creating uh, mandatory minimum crack sentencing laws. You got the mass incarceration movement. You got right. uh, three strikes laws. You got all these laws are starting to come into America because mm -hmm. America hadn't been a killing field of children. Oh, yeah. So uh, they start lowering certif certification aid. So imagine this, homie. Right after the Columbine shootings, Catherine and Curtis Jones, Google their names, was sentenced to like 18 years to life without parole. And how old were they? 12 and 13. Dang, damn. They was treated like adults in a court system, not like us in juvenile. Most people don't understand that when a child commits a, 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 a crime, they're not in criminal court. Juvenile court is family court. That's right. why children aren't convicted. They're adjudicated, right? right? So there's a difference between adjudication and conviction. Right. Uh, adult court is criminal court. So, 12 years old, life without parole? God damn, man. Life without parole? Never had a chance. Uh, they were being molested at home, right? And they thought, if we kill, it'll stop. Right. And they can run away just like television. Uh, what them kids realized was, uh, when you kill somebody, it ain't like television. Mm -mm. It's guts. It's good. That come out. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's really gooey it, right. and, it, and it's not watery. It ain't what you thought it was. <laughs> so, uh, they ran. They became kids. Uh, it ain't a kid shooting a gun, homie. Uh, that had been exposed to trauma prior to shooting that gun. Come on. Some type of traumatic experience <laughs> to give him the fuel. And the ammunition to grab that gun and tote it, hey. let alone shoot it. I'm seeing that right now with some of my folks. Well, you, know, that with me. well you done heard your mama get beat up. You done seen you. You done saw some traumatic that you ain't supposed to see. Nah, my situation was different. I, my situation was different. I had an OG nigga in the hood. He had gave me some shit to go take to another little town. I got there and they took it, right? So they took the shit from me. So I called him and said. 
I told him, and I was like, man, he said, what you finna do? I said, I finna come back to Slot Hill. He was like, shit, what you coming back this way for? And he had just killed the motherfucker, so that was pressure. Nigga, so did you hear what I just said? That's trauma. That's trauma right there. Right there. That's trauma. That was right then, trauma, though. No, 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 no. Listen, you see how you just told that story, you ain't forgot it. Why right, hell no, I can never but, forget but, it. But, but now just think about but, the weight and the pressure of a kid thinking about right. I got to go return back to this killer. He gonna kill me. That's right, that's right. So I gotta go back and Listen, I tricked off Big Paul Chappelle dope. I ain't mine, they didn't take mine. It was Mexican Maria. Boy, I was fucking Mexican Maria. Big Paul gave me $125 worth of dope. I tricked it all off. And and nigga, I ran from Big Paul the whole school year. Hmm. Terrified of Big Paul. But I could go home. I didn't have to live in the environment. All I had to do was just get past them apartments, and nigga, I was good, past Pebble Creek. <laughs> but when you caught up into the world of the ghetto, homie, ain't no escape. Ain't no escape. Think about this. In the ghetto, you don't have no rescuers. Right. Because you taught you can't call the police. Right, 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 right. You, so how can you escape? Right. Whatever harm that's gonna come to you, you may just have a mother at home. You may be a, a, a you may have a big sister, and you a smaller dude. If you don't turn into a monster, you don't have no escape. Yeah. Say that. But shit. but but look, I say that about that. We try we talk to not rat. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I, I say this here, bro. Like if 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 niggas in the streets and they hustling and they doing street activities, and then you got people that's working as citizens. If they see you do some shit, they should they they should call the police on you for you not having enough respect to not even let them see you do that. You understand? Uh, we we, we but, ain't we ain't broke snitching down yet. So let we, me let, let me yeah. show let me show you what that the no crazy. snitch. Let me show you how deep the no snitch shit go, my nigga. That's that's what the that's what the child molester in the house used the rule to keep everybody quiet. Huh. The nigga that's molesting the little girl and the little boy, you better not snitch. Mm. No Look, snitch. So. Nobody wants to be a snitch. Nobody wants. To be. Not even listen. Not even the child that's being molested. That's how bad be it, cause we ain't defined a real snitch. Right. We think just telling the truth is snitching. Yeah, he touched. Boy, me. say right. that shit again. Right. Nigga got that shit well twisted. Right. Snitching only applies to criminals. Right. To criminals, right. We think if I go tell the teacher this nigga bullying me, cause I don't want to get in trouble. He messing with me. They go right. jump me. Right. I'd rather be subjected to being hurt and harm than saying, man, they they go jump me after school. Right. That's crazy. I can't teach my kid to do what's right because the community go give him a scarlet letter if he do what's right. Come on. Right. Man, we was told if somebody mess with you, you go tell the teacher. If they keep messing with you, you kick their ass. Right. Yep. Well, we we done watched enough first 48 where we saw the police said, man, if you just would have filed a police report and said he was threatening, you could have got off. Right. Hmm. Homie, we take away our power from one another. Well, we got to fail. Huh. A nigga, make me gotta crash out because I gotta live to the, live up to these bullshit ass standards, my nigga. And, and we fighting nigga. to do what's right already. Say that shit. You nigga wanna trap me into some elements of, of wrong standards. I never get to outgrow these standards. Right. That shit crazy. Nigga, 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 jump on my woman. She at the stove, nigga, whoop my woman. I'm supposed to come around there and throw my life away. Yeah, hmm. yeah, right there. <laughs> Rather than letting the police put that nigga in jail. I've right. seen it. I've seen it happen. Right, mm -hmm. right, <clears throat> right. They gonna shame me if I do the right thing. Right. Oh Good man, job. bitch, that nigga called the police. Then, uh, then if you go around there and throw your life away, they gonna say you a damn fool. Look at that damn fool. fool. Look at that. He mm -hmm. killed that. So nigga. how can our babies win, nigga? If we Double have created, if we have created the elements of a lose lose world. Mm -hmm. Huh. If we go right, we lose. If we go we left, we, we lose. lose. If we right. go straight, we man, we lose. Right. But straight is, is to put you in a, in a bad position. Uh, Quote well, unquote. Well, if you go straight, uh, and you come back to the ghetto, uh, they got a problem with you going straight. You've been straight for too long. Right. Oh, right. nigga, you done forgot how to be crooked. You've been right. straight for too long right. now, nigga. Yeah, now, nah. right. yeah. And then if your kids come back to visit, uh, they're gonna target your kids. Because huh. your kids don't know crooked, all they know is straight. Straight, right, right. Huh. They're gonna think less of your children. Right. So, the the crooked children and the straight children, uh, 
as far as cousins, they don't like each other. The crooked children are rob their straight cousins first chance they get. Boy, say so that real. shit. Because they, didn't grow, cause they didn't grow up crooked. Right, right. The straight children really like the crooked children. Just right. They don't want to fuck over. No. Right. The straight children share their shoes, right. bring the games, right. and don't get them back. Right. Uh, <laughs> but, but, yeah. Right. But, but, but once the straight children... Get them a few pounds of weed and go down there fucking with his crooked children cousin. They go, they go take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause he's straight. Right. He ain't crooked. He ain't crooked. We gonna beat him. Take it uh, every time. Uh, I once took some kids out the projects, home out the projects in Poly, uh, to the WWE. And nigga, we had some good goddamn seats. Shout out to 601 Tickets. Hmm. Man, we had some good goddamn seats. But boy, some kids got to go down there and be next to the wrestling match. Man, one of them little niggas I was with holler out, I hate y'all! Nigga, for what? <laughs> <laughs> huh? And then white folk looking, man, can they down there? Nigga, we got some good seats. <laughs> man, I didn't know how to respond to that. Mm-hmm. Right. I had to go think about that shit. But I'm I'm gonna tell you a situation with 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 growth with me. Like I said a while ago about my incident with me catching the charge. It's been long when I was young, but the craziest thing that ever happened to me was the dude that I shot. Right, me and him was best. We was friends. Like I lived at their house. Right. Yeah. And uh, like like crazy thing about it, like it's like 20 years later. So one day I'm in this little town and I drive there every morning to go get breakfast. So um, one day I feel somebody looking at him, I turn around, it's him. He was like, hey bro. He was like, man, can I talk to you? Like kind of spooked me at first. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? I walked up to him, dude looked at me, man. He said, man, I forgive you, dog. He said, man, and I'm sorry. He said, he said, my people look at it from the moment you shot me. He said, I rewind it back to the beginning. He said, I made you. If I wouldn't have did what I did, I wouldn't have, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And me and dude, like, like, you know what I'm saying? We cool now. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, but you go around, you mess with a nigga woman. That's a lifetime beef. Uh, but if you can think so, you done shot a man five times and left him for dead, and y'all can hug and embrace each other, and, and, uh, and both of y'all accept y'all, you know, accept you was wrong. Uh, he, never, he, he never had to say that to you, so that let you know it had to be some God involved in that. Exactly. Uh, I know I know, uh, I, I know a guy uh, by the name of Ellis Carey. He killed this white kid. And uh, the white kid father uh, advocated for for Ellis, and huh. and they became best friends. Right. Ellis became the son that he had killed to that white dude. Right. <laughs> right. Wow. Uh, the the daughters, uh, are the, uh, you know, uh, I ain't gonna say, the the daughters really wasn't feeling it, you know. Right. Right. Uh, they went along with it, but man, I I watched this man, uh, I watched this white guy have a genuine. Love and affection, uh, huh. for 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 Ellis, man, and 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 uh, and he loved his son, right? But it's almost like Ellis became the son he killed to that white dude, homie. right? Right, that's crazy. Uh, he replaced it. Yeah. Remember we so, talked about that. You got to fix it. Yeah. Remember we talked about that. Yeah. Got to fill that void. Yeah. You yeah. got to fix it. No, you uh, got to fix it. So you know. So, being able to witness that kind of shit, homie, right. it's hard right. to be hateful. Man, that's crazy, right? right? It's hard to be hateful, homie. It's hard. Right. Yeah. yeah. It is. Uh, I pick the days I want to be, uh, uh, <laughs> and I'm just being that for the moment. Uh, but I got too many experiences like that, homie, to have hate in my heart. Right. That was a crazy experience for yeah. me, bro. Like, yeah, like, yeah. man, dude, we, mm-hmm. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that shit crazy. I got to, uh, I got to, uh, you know, my victim's family, uh, they forgave us. You know, I got to hear right. it in face-to-face, uh, right. looking them right. So, uh, that's big. Yeah, that's real that's big. That's big, yeah. yeah. For me, that was big. That was like, you know, like, uh, that was big. Yeah. 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 Boy, that's a heavy jump there, man. Yeah, oh, heavy jump. I got a jump. <laughs> Real life, man. We gotta get Real into. I, I look. I gotta get into because it it just is your work. What what you got going on with these programs and stuff in the schools now? You know what I'm talking about. Since we've been on, on all this, like what you got going on with these kids now? Because that's uh, you, right you now, deep into it. Yeah, right now we got a. Uh, see anything I get involved in in my city, uh, it becomes political. Uh, because of my name uh, mm. and what I do, so if, if I show up at a birthday party, uh, I just I become the birthday. All right, so uh, I gotta learn to play back now. Uh, mm. So 
right now we got a program called Build a Hero Program where we go inside uh, a middle school every week. And so uh, I utilize my platform to, to get the celebrity to come in from it. You know, cause the same people they idolize online. Right, uh, right. Uh, I, I got them coming into the school. So we had FBG Duck Mom uh, there last week. Uh, we're going to have a little Snoop Mom coming. Uh, we got Doe Boy. Uh, Doe Mo- uh, Do B out of what, Alabama. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah his mom. So uh, uh, shout out to Miss Shirley. Uh, shit, man. Uh, shit, we got quite quite a Michael Crab tree. Mm-hmm. Uh so you know so so the kids can have access to the people. Uh how are they receiving it? Cause I, I I know it's one thing like uh we're I'm in the industry, we're in the industry, you know what I'm talking about, so we kinda know these people and and we can kinda see their story, their kids' stories and everything. How is the young kids receiving it when they come in when they come in? Oh uh, you know man, you know, uh they, they kids' names are so big on, on the internet within the in, in, within the young people's world, uh the kids recognize who they are before the teachers. Dude. So mm. soon oh that's F B G Doug Mom and so there's Damn. Uh, yeah. there, since you gotta understand, homie. To to these children, uh, they don't watch TV. YouTube, baby. Well, they YouTube is TV now. Yeah. So right. to them, mm-hmm. them is television star. They to them, I'm a TV star because if they walk in the living room, their mama watching me on tel- on, on the flat screen. Right. <laughs> they, real, they, real talk. Yeah, yeah. They on the phone. So to them, he on TV. So when they see mm-hmm. these people. Man, they excited. They, they celebrities. Life. They celebrities, homie. So, right. uh, so what what we did before we how we kicked off the program, man. Uh, we showed up in there with all them high dollar ass Jordan. They like to wear them limited edition championship Jordan that all the kids would go crazy for. Mm-hmm. So we partnered with DTLR. Uh, you know, to donate those shoes. Uh, yeah. them Jordan loving shoe niggas that got a heart for kids. Know the kind of sh- them five six hundred dollars shoes that they rob and steal right. for. Right. We showed up with them. Yeah. Uh, the kids that like to uh, uh rap. Uh, and, and and you know we had guys showed up with computers where they can learn to make beats in the production side. So we showed up not trying to body affection but getting their attention. Yeah. Right. So so right. so the first thing I did. Uh, well, the first thing I do, homie. Uh. Uh, uh, I change a kid's shoes so I can tap into their mind. That's why they love tennis shoes. Most of them niggas' shoes go be raggedy. So what? We we uh-huh. February, February, them niggas was still wearing the same shoes from the start of the school year. So what that showed me was uh, they didn't get no shoes for Christmas. Mm. Right. So right. when we come through now, nigga, we done put new shoes on their feet. Right. Nigga, they look at us different. We kind of <laughs> like we celebrities now. Right. Right. Because yeah, right. ain't nobody really done that. Right. And, and I got that from uh, the Black Panther Party, man. Uh, Ten point. Principal's book, uh, you and them, man. You know, feed, clothe, and educate. Right. So, uh, feed, for, clothes, for, 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 so you know, uh, that's why everybody show up at the free barbecue, and then when the food gone, they gone. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Uh, uh, you gotta, you gotta trick them into educating them, uh, yeah. because if they're not interested in education or they don't value education, then education means nothing. Nothing. Yes. Right. Sir. Uh, they just want to know something, and that's not being educated. At all, boy. Look, I, I talk with my own about that. <laughs> you got to know something, man. You can't just say, I just did this and I'm on the way. No, nah, it don't yeah. work like that. No. Nah, uh, so, uh, so no, nah, homie, uh, you got to play on children, right? So what I do is I go get everything and everybody they want to hear from so we can tell them what they need to hear. Mm-hmm. So, hey, man, I caught a murder case. They want to hear a nigga say I killed somebody, and then I walk them to the path of redemption. Right. My, you see right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh, I break down why I was killing. And you, right, you see what I'm saying? Right, right. Uh, and, and, and that's therapeutic for me. Right, right. Right? So that helped me to be a better person. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it's hard to walk away from children and, and, and go be something that you was in there speaking against. Right, right. Tom. Uh, so yeah. mo- most niggas will That's run real. from you. Most niggas won't come back. Right. Most niggas, if, if if you keep trying to get them to talk to kids, they go, they ain't gonna come do that shit on huh? If they faking and shaking, you a so. dirty motherfucker to do that. A real <laughs> nigga ain't gonna do it. Nah. Real shit though. He might come talk one time. Right. And go back to selling dope and never come again. <laughs> Because he don't want to be a he don't want to be a fraud. Mm-hmm. That's why a nigga go to church one time, time and don't yeah. go back to the yeah. rat. I, I, yeah, I did this, and I, this ain't this. Ain't yeah, so uh, so so uh, I I understand that man. Uh, I, I'm a child expert because I grew up in a system. Mm-hmm. I'm one of them kids, nigga, sitting in that trail with his arm folded, saying, "Man, that nigga lying." Yeah, I doubt I doubted every, I, everybody was lying yeah. until they showed me. 
And that's where we at now. <laughs> to yeah. the third power. To AKA, you, well, I got to get a body. Yeah. Don't Until you show me, right? Yeah. So you got to show them that, nigga, you kill somebody, you ain't never coming home. They don't know that. <laughs> because they done seen niggas kill and come home now. Right. Yeah. That's right. They don't know. That's the old days. That's the old days. Yeah, they think they can kill yeah. and come home, huh? Right. And not only that, they think they can kill and get away with it. That's the big one. No, right they think there. they can kill, post it on the internet, then, then get away like, with it. Well, uh, I'm mad at them niggas because niggas, uh, they told us we had to go to jail. Yeah. We, we grew up wanting to go to jail. And I keep asking this question when did niggas stop wanting to go to jail? <laughs> when the police stop you, man, fuck you, take me to jail. Go right. I ain't saying shit. Lock me up, man. Harry, you ever take me to jail? When did you start hollering about I got rights and I know my rights? Man, fuck, take me to jail. I got right. bond money, nigga. Right. Yeah, no, nah, we don't. Right. I ain't holding court in the street with the police. Man, give me to jail. Man, Harry, you up. Niggas don't want to go to jail. Niggas now. don't want to go because guess what? Somebody gonna be fucking that girl. Oh uh, uh, man, these niggas, these niggas, niggas, hey, man, these niggas ain't getting. <laughs> right. I see that. Listen. <laughs> Everywhere I go, it's seven niggas together. Ain't these niggas ain't fucking. <laughs> no, no, no. These niggas tricking. They ain't fucking. <laughs> they ain't gonna fuck that. No, no. Tricking is uh uh. That's that's uh. <laughs> That's not regularly. That's, that's just something you do occasionally. Yeah, right, yeah. These right, niggas right, fucking. Right, Cause right. these niggas homeboy lovers. These right. niggas ain't girl lovers. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I done seen right. niggas put their girl in the back seat and they homeboy riding in the front seat when they pick up from work. On, His man. homeboy won't even get out the passenger seat. See her walking down the steps. That's right. Too. See her coming, nigga. Get out. Get, get the this, fuck yeah. out, nigga. Right. Yeah, get the nigga. Fuck out. Before I put my hand on your thigh. Yeah, nigga. Let baby get in that. Nah, you right though. Nah, yeah. man. Oh, uh, no. Nah, so, uh, now nah, this is a homeboy loving generation. These yeah. niggas will crash out for their homeboy. Sure will. I done had a nigga tell me, you better not, nigga, I, nigga, what's up? You talking about my homeboy? I ain't saying nothing about you. Right. You, you gonna know. whoop me for your nigga? You don't even know why I said something to your homeboy. Oh, man, your mama gonna be mad at you for throwing <laughs> your life away over that nigga. He ain't gonna show up at now Christmas. <laughs> nah, man, they ain't gonna go take out now right. trash day for your mama, nigga. You finna go away from my nah. oh, man. I ain't gonna do yeah. shit for you. Yeah, nah, man, I don't, I don't understand that shit. That's the nigga. So you talking about my nigga? Yeah, man, I, what's that? I ain't gonna say it today. What them boy managers say? I better quit talking about his artist. And who your artist? Who your fool? Man, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> and him too. Nigga, leave me alone, nigga. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> They just too tough for me now, homie. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, they too tough for me. Everybody bad. Yeah, no, nah, uh, it's some niggas scare me. And I, uh, yeah, 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 it's some niggas scare me. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No uh, niggas scare you. Yeah, and I'm gonna make it known you scared me. Right. Say, I'm scared of him. Right. Yeah, so I don't have to be scared. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy, if I tell the right people I'm scared of you, I ain't got to be. Yeah, we gonna, be scared yeah no I'm more. gonna intensely cross paths with you. Right. Now, yeah. see, <laughs> that's one thing I've I, I been wondering, man. With y- You feel me? With all this going on, and again, I've I, I been, I been peeping you, you, you gang, goddamn, you stand on business, goddamn. But right. it doesn't, it doesn't, again, nah, I know, ain't nobody did nothing, but it don't worry you. At, at some point, somebody's gonna try some shit if you go back to those. Do you, would you go back to those spots? Spots, I do. Like? Hell yeah, that yeah. Nigga, I do. Yeah, nigga, my partner had to hit me all the time in the strip club. Wake up, nigga. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm tired, in, but I'm in the strip club. Mm-hmm. Nah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, homie, I keep myself vulnerable, uh, and it's really foolish. Uh, yeah. That's and see, that's but, my but, thought process. But, but, but like, the thing is, is, listen, what what is it that you've said that that's rather what I'm telling myself. so much mm-hmm. that would make somebody really want to yeah, hurt you? Yeah, shit. that's what I'm saying. I'm, in I'm my trying mind. to figure it out like what. Shit, what, that's the angle. Like, like, now you got to think bitter, about a boy. fanatic. Let's 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 Niggas put it bitter, a fanatic boy. person, somebody who's who's just humdrum pressed on a person. Right. As as he said, I'm I'm going towards the character of that person. Some people, that's all they have is the quote unquote character to right. hold on to. Fake you mean, you and mean they, like the Nipsey Hussle stuff? stuff? Okay. No. In, in, Cause in I the, understood what you were saying. No, about we that we we all got we all got that. I'm just yeah. saying when these young niggas, that, that will, if you go back into it, you know, somebody into one of these spaces. So, so let's just take the Cali situation. Okay, are you going back to those neighborhoods that you were still into? There was those those crip neighborhoods, and you know, talking about knowing what's been said, what's been what's out on the net right now. Would you 
just purposely go back to that spot just to kick uh, shit or just ride through the help, even to uh, help the no. kid uh, nah, or something. Nigga, uh, 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 no, nah, you go to get the kind of money I get, you don't go with them broke niggas. <laughs> go play I'm with broke. Nigga, man. Yeah, yeah, I met, I, I met them niggas broke. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want to go back to being broke. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no, nigga, I, was walk, I was walking up and down the streets of California. I ain't had no car. Yeah, yeah, I was Ubering to the park. Yeah, no, nah, I don't want to go back so to yeah, doing that. So, yeah, we ain't, we ain't, we, we, we uh, on bigger and uh, better things. Well, I shot, I, uh, I, I shot, I had to fly to L.A. to shoot a movie. So, I, I did, you know, uh, I have to be real cautious in L.A., homie. Uh, if I go to L.A., them niggas try to kill me. And see, that's, uh, that's, that's what uh, I'm saying but, on shit like, uh, you know. But it ain't nothing in L.A. for me to go to. Uh, and then if I yeah. do go to L.A., I get them white boy police. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nigga, L.A. County Sheriff make all them niggas ass sit down there, man. Yes, it is. Them niggas, them you going to get that money. <laughs> man, them niggas bite their bottom lip. They see me walk out with them white boy. <laughs> yeah, they'll silently say something to me. Yes, indeed. Yeah, God they ain't damn. gonna say nothing unless them wife. Yeah, they gonna throw them signs at me. That nigga, that's yeah. stupid, man. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and all that's because of the game. That nigga, stupid, man. <laughs> I mean, oh. I mean, but in in, gen, in general, cause you, you had some beats that that span uh, all different kind uh, of spaces. Oh, uh, nah, homie. Oh, uh, them niggas had a real love for me. D. Oh, uh, they they had a real love for me, and I had a real love for them. Uh, but when I started getting into it with them Asian, with the Asian community, and the Asian Crips appeared out of California, and uh, the Asian Crips started saying, you know, man, going against me, and when I saw them niggas take the Asian nigga side over me. Oh man, that broke my heart, homie. I started resenting them niggas. Mm. I was already, uh, you know, I was already developing a, a disdain for them after, uh, you know, just getting a full understanding of how they look at us. Uh, country bumpkin, so you heard them say that right. a lot. Of oh, course, cool. they 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 look down on us. Uh, when I when 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 I understood that we took with something that they created. And done it just as about as good as them down here as far as destroying us. Right. With the pride that they had and, and the honor that that they had. Uh we emulated them niggas, homie. We heard our mothers, our grandmothers, we buried right. cousins and brothers. Only for them niggas to say we ain't real Crips and Bloods. Hmm. Damn. If we can't go back to their homeland representing. Hmm. So having love for that, for them, and having an understanding, a cause a love hate relationship. Yep, definitely. Yep. You know, like the woman keep catching you cheating. She love you, but she start to hate you at the same Damn, time. Yes, yeah, sir. So, <laughs> so. Don't want to let you go either. Yeah. Don't so, let you uh, go. especially if you can fuck good. <laughs> uh, uh. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get caught cheating now, time. You can't get yeah, yeah. boy. You getting that mediocre dick away, boy? Your ass out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you ain't earned that right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nah, nigga, old mediocre trumpet player. You ain't earned right. that right. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Coming through, womp, womp, womp. Uh, so now, nah, man. So, so, uh, so. Once I started having issues with guys out of California. Uh, what means something to them don't mean nothing to us. Mm -hmm. What means something to them at this age in life don't mean nothing to me. Right. Fuck you, slob ass nigga. Right. Fuck you, crab ass nigga. Them words sting in California. Mm -hmm. Right. They don't sting outside of California. <laughs> right. So as I'm having arguments, uh, everybody from California telling me what I can say and can't say, but not saying nothing to the California niggas just talking, oh, country ass nigga, country bumpkin. Nigga, y'all disrespecting us. Right, hmm. right. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and then y'all on my platform telling me what I can't say. Right. Yeah, y'all on my platform telling me. So uh, when them Asian dudes done that, homie, uh, I started looking at them in a whole different a whole different faction. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not standing. Uh, nah, 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 homie. And, and then when, when I, I ain't never heard of no Asian Crips. Who they, so who are they enemies? Asian right. blood? <laughs> no, nah, they enemies is black people. What? Right. I start finding out that they got Mexican Crips that bang against black people. They got uh, Laos Crips that bang against black people, and they got black people in the game that let these foreign ethnicities bang against us. 
Nah, homie, I don't want to be nothing with y'all niggas. Nothing with y'all niggas. No, no, no. We don't we no, y'all can't sit it down, no. village table. We got mm -hmm. homie. Y'all y'all can have y'all our enemy. Right. Y'all will let other races come. So when they let them niggas do that to me, homie, it's uh huh. yeah, yeah, nah, I drew the line in the sand. Right. Uh so you know, they start making up shit. Uh guys who I was cool with start getting heat from, you know, other guys. Man, what's up with your boy? You brought him over here, you brought him over that. So uh you know, I played on them niggas, homie. Uh, you know, I already knew the the, the gang culture and, and its elements in California. So when I showed up, homie, uh, I showed up playing uh, a country boy lane with a whole bunch of gang, dressing up every day with, with Mexican cowboy boots on, coveralls, and a cowboy hat, walking the streets of California, going, going everywhere they told me not to go, going everywhere they said I couldn't that's, that's go. That's what I did when I went to California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My and whole so, boss, uh, man, don't be out there. Yeah, no, yeah, no, nah, nah, man, when you a game-related yeah. nigga, homie, you know the game, the game always supersede the game. Right, right. Uh, especially when you ain't no gang figure. Right. Uh, and so what I realized, uh, see, them niggas is, is caught up into a, uh, a matrix of their own and if you ain't in that matrix they dumb mm -hmm. they only smart in their matrix right the gang world right so if you don't have to communicate with them in the gang world it's easy to beat them right right uh and so what i did i stayed out the gang world even though i fucked with the niggas that was I in the gang too. world yeah, i, I stayed too. out of it yeah. i kept Me you know too. i kept the political side i kept right. the community side of it right. i kept the business side of it i was a right. money get nigga yeah. uh yeah, I went everywhere. Uh, I like blood niggas. I like crip crip niggas. Uh, I like the Latino. Yeah, I fuck me with too. everybody. I fuck who fuck with me? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. You yes, fuck with me? Yeah. I fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. I don't like broke folk. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't like unmotivated broke folk <laughs> on social media. For real. Yeah, I hate a broke motherfucker on social media with opinion every goddamn day. Ain't and then everybody, shit. and then everybody comment section. And everybody listening to that mother broke man. Let me, let me ask you this. Everybody. Now, I, uh, of course, we we see you on YouTube. We see you on Instagram. Do you? You do Twitter. Man, that's too much. Man, listen, I can't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like me with that Say, one. man, I can say, nigga, you say, sound like me nigga got it. Say, man, say, I, I got Instagram. Man, I got five phones. Uh, they telling me get Twitter. What's that other motherfucker? Uh, Snapchat. Twitch. 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 Uh, TikTok. I got, just got TikTok. Now, now, see, you can run some money up on TikTok, Well, though. nigga, they been running the money up. It's, I mean, it's one page. Got over 64 million hashtag Charleston White. That's just one page. Yeah, they been getting paid like much. Man, that's too much. I can't keep up with everything. I'm like when I go to my phone and put C in Charleston White jump up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, 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 but I got a team of people that's that's, that's getting everything because I'm yeah. trademarked, homie. So yeah. uh uh man we don't know. We we homie we don't we don't I don't, I don't know how to monetize TikTok. I just got my Instagram monetized. Indeed. Uh, I got a Facebook fan page. We got sixty seven thousand fans. Uh, man, I don't know how to monetize that shit. Uh, don't nobody I know know how. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, so yeah, Everything nah. Everything you need, <laughs> you did. Yeah, so uh, it, 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 yeah, it, yeah, it, hey, you ain't got to say that no more. Yeah, now, it, you, uh, now you know it. It's uh, right. So, now you so, know so, but, but, but let me let me just say this for those that don't know. Uh, nigga, just keep building the art. Holla at Doug right, G. If you, you don't right know, holla at Doug yeah, G. Just, if you just, don't just, know. Just keep building the art. Uh, you know, whether you believe and it. ain't nothing wrong with not knowing. Hell no. It's nothing wrong. How you going to come in the game knowing it all? Boy, uh, but it's something wrong with not wanting to learn. Uh, Every, everything I got, I got by asking motherfuckers. Facts. <laughs> uh, knowledge. I ain't know uh, I got to knowledge, use another motherfucker. Knowledge, knowledge is not available. You have to seek it. Mm -hmm. Seek Thank first you. the knowledge. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. Seek first. Uh, but it's like when Noah was building the ark. Noah didn't have time to build an ark and go get everything that needed to be on the ark. Right. That's what 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 happens? Uh, what what, uh, what 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 happens to us is uh, go upstairs. What what happens to oh, no, us is, is homie, we build oh, an ark, right? right. Oh, somebody right. Close the door. We stop building the ark to tr try to go get what needs to be on the ark. Right. We stop building, trying to go do what God do. Go right. get what we think need to be on her. Right. Uh, and that's where we m make the mistakes of uh, when God give us a vision. Mm -hmm. Right. We start trying to go get the people we think supposed to be here. And, and, uh, oh, so it took me ten years, damn, homie. Boy. It took me ten years, just oh. man, just stay focused on building the art. Right. 
and God go bring everything else that need to be on her. If you build it, they will come. I, yeah, keep, yeah, yeah. I always tell my yeah. partner that's that's mm. the phrase that's always that's stuck crazy. in yeah, my no, life. Man. Uh, Noah didn't if have to go get them lines. Right. He didn't have to go get them. He didn't have to go pick down animals. They right. just was showing up, walking on right. that motherfucker. He, right. Once he got it finished. <laughs> but everybody else thought he was crazy because he right. was like, man, Noah, what you building? Man, I'm building a goddamn ark. Nigga, it's for the rain. Mm -hmm. The world didn't know rain. Right. Damn, right. motherfucker, man, what's rain? Man, it's, I don't know. Some shit, this, it's going to throw some shit up. But I'm telling you, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, uh, that's why I'm building it, man. They thought that nigga was crazy. You better come help me, nigga. They thought me. he was crazy until the right. rain came. Right, right, right. You better yeah, come we help did, me, nigga. Nigga, we didn't know coronavirus, but people have been telling us about this disease that was coming at Bill Gates. Motherfucker been telling us that shit. We been mm -hmm. thinking them niggas were crazy with that right. New World Order shit. They been telling us about right, this. Right, right. And we thought they were crazy. Yeah. Right. What's going crazy. on right now? Shit, we in the midst of it. Hmm. Why you in the midst of it? Shit, nigga, motherfucker been telling us about this shit, but we thought they were just talking and crazy because we was in a we was in a party era. The seventies, the eighties, and the nineties and the two thousand was a party era. Getting it in. What's your um? What's the biggest opportunity that come from all this you got? Uh, sitting here with y'all. Come on now, man. Yeah, nigga done come, come down. Come on now, man. Come on, man. Oh, nigga done come back come down on, to man. come back down and fuck with the niggas. That's love. Yeah, the organic That's niggas, love. homie. I've That's been love, falling homie. out with all That's the industry. I've been fighting. I've been falling out with all the industry, nigga. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I right. can't keep no industry nigga right. friend for nothing. Homie, right, yeah, right. we got a six-month run. Right, no. Yeah, nigga, shit. Only, let me see, me, let me see, me, me and that nigga Shannon Briggs. Me and that nigga became the best of friends. That's my brother. He done been to my mama house. I done stayed at his mama house. Uh, me and that nigga Gunplay. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 me and Rainwater. Uh, man, uh, it, it's quite a few more, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's quite a few more, man. Eight Ball and MJG rock with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Country Black. Uh, uh, man, mm -hmm. that nigga, that's my, that's my brother. Man. Three six. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, nah, man. So it, it's some, it's some, but but we met on real nigga on on real right. nigga boundary. Right, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, the the other niggas I met, uh, you know, industry wise, homie. Uh, uh, they got an agenda every day. Right. Uh, man, some days I ain't got no agenda, homie. Mm -hmm. Some days I ain't got nothing to say, but I'm saying some shit. <laughs> uh, some days, man, I ain't trying to help nobody. Uh, right. nigga, I'm just here. Right. right. Uh, so I ain't got no agenda. Right. Yeah, no, nah, man. Yeah, no, nah, right. man. I'm just here. Want right. to have some fun today? Right. Right. Uh, but I don't want to hurt nobody. Right. Right. Uh, it's some people wake up to hurt people, homie. It's some people wake up mm -hmm. to fuck over you. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 at every turn. Uh, in this industry, homie, uh, I've been meeting black people looking the fuck over me. That's some shit. Uh, but I came uh, ready for the fucking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you really? Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I came ready for the ready for the fuck. Come yeah. on, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's, yeah. the, what's the biggest uh, adjustment that you've had to make f between just community activist Charleston White and now slash celebrity uh, community activist Charleston White? Like, what do you have to, I guess, put a cap on or not put a cap? Like, I don't know. I, you know, what's uh, for the for the people that know me, homie. Uh, Man, they celebrate the fact uh, 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 of where I'm at, but but then they wished I can be more of the community activist uh, right, uh, right. Uh, in, in, hmm. in, in the city. Then you got some people uh, who felt like I done went too far radical, too far left. Right, mm -hmm. right. right. Uh, and, and so uh, they've they've uh, they've taken. Uh, step uh, back away from me, right? So uh, right. I've lost a lot. Right. Uh, I, I forfeited my keys to the city. Hmm. Uh, I was the poster child uh, for the state. Uh, I fell from my uh, political high horse. Uh, all behind this? Uh, all behind. Uh, Going to the left a little far. Being nigga. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, yeah. The, the 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 first attempt was uh, Charleston. We love you. Our children love you. We love working with you. We're crazy about you. Uh, but your use of the N word, mm -hmm. man. You know. So they wanted me to stop using the word nigga in my Facebook post. Right. Uh. And I said okay. Uh, because I was the poster child. Right. Uh, I was. I was. 
uh, I was on the, I was teetling the fence of selling out. Right, right. Uh, because when you become a community activist for so long and you're doing the work, you see the worst of the community, homie. Right. You see people who don't give a damn about the community. Oh, yeah. So you start hating your people. You start wanting to put niggas in jail for real. Right. You start wishing they had go to jail. Right. So, you so that's why you see some you niggas built in resentment. Well, because because you 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 see Cause, niggas cause really don't care. Fuck right. it up. Don't give fuck. You see niggas really don't care right. about their kids. Right. Niggas really don't give a damn about their mama. Right. Man, you see, man, there's some niggas. Man, you start hating the ghetto. So, uh, that's how a nigga can grow up and become a police officer and come back and be mean. Right. So, uh, man, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want that. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't want to have that. So, uh, I told him, yeah, because I didn't want to. I was like every other nigga. I don't want to lose my white support. Right. Yeah, these motherfuckers let me in the jail. These motherfuckers give me access to the whole state juvenile system. These motherfuckers and highly recommended me to all 254 counties throughout the state of Texas. Nigga, I'm the golden boy. Right. Uh, I was like Dr. King in Texas. Then I went Malcolm. Start wearing bow ties. So to the white folk, like, hey man, what's, the fuck what's what doing? in their mind I'm going crazy. Right. Cause so, I'm in the ghetto too long. Right. I'm working in the ghetto around all these so they thinking I'm going too radical with who I'm around, mm. all these old niggas. Right. Mm. Uh the old niggas saved me. Uh I would have been like Jesse Lee Peterson. Out of resentment toward my own people. Hmm. Yeah, I would have been like Jesse Lee Peterson, homie. Uh, I was a rock star amongst white politicians. Right. So when I went nigga, homie, uh, I fell from grace. Uh, so what I did was, uh, one day I posted a picture of this lily little white girl, half naked. With seven big muscular slave looking niggas standing around them <laughs> with them dick prints in their britches. They had on boxer shorts. Them niggas had them big old prints in their drawers. <laughs> they crazy, say, bro. listen, I put that shit on Facebook and tag judges and lawyers and all my boy, listen, they they say they they listen. So I fell, right? I fell from grace. Yeah. Uh I became somewhat they say anti police. Uh I went to California and came back. What you got over there, boy? Uh, I went to California and came back, man. I'm and, hearing uh, all that. Uh, uh, he was about to fall out of, out of the bag. In my yeah, I, I went to California and came back, homie, and, and garnered the support of the people. Right. Uh, and that, and most black people, most black preachers, most black politicians, do not have the support of their community. That's why white folks so don't, don't want to hear nothing they got to say when they come downtown. That's why they can't get nothing. Yep. Huh. Yep. Cause if we kick you out, if we kick you from up here, you can't go back down there. Huh? And people don't listen to you. Right. So uh what I showed white people was uh you can't send a black motherfucker to go deliver a message to a bunch of niggas. Huh. Huh. So I start showing them the difference between our people. But I had to go submerge myself with my people, homie. Right, right. I wasn't born in the ghetto. Right. My mama, I, I don't know nothing about that project shit. Right. I had to go live with them people. I had to go eat with them people. <laughs> How can I speak for the conditions of our people, nigga, if I come from a middle class family? Right. And I ain't down there sleeping. So, nigga, for seven, eight years, I lived in the ghetto. I slept in them niggas thought I was home. I was sleeping in the car. I slept in the club. I walked the streets with the prostitutes. <laughs> I fed the niggas that'll kill you, the little boys that break in the houses. I bought their guns. Cause them old niggas go give them fifty dollars when they should give them two hundred dollars. I'm gonna give you one seventy five, nigga. Huh, right. <laughs> I ain't gonna give you. I ain't gonna give you fifty. Right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so the niggas that's killing, in our city, they call me Mr. Charleston. When when I come around, they stop throwing rocks. They hide. They yeah. They they get together. Right. They uh. So, but I had to go live amongst my people. Right. So, most of the people that's trying to help black people don't live there. Say that. No, 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 nigga. You got to, you got to you go got live. To you got to go live go with them. Got to go get that experience, baby. Live with them, cry right, with them, right, fight with them, right, eat right, with them. Right. Do everything right. but fuck on them. Right. Do everything but fuck on them, homie. So I stayed down off in the ghetto, homie, uh, ten years, nigga, and didn't fuck nothing from the ghetto. Hmm. Working with their kids. 
I ain't let niggas come around me that will fuck their mamas, work with their kids. You can't even flirt with them, homie. <laughs> They can fuck up and fuck the whole program. Oh uh, well, well, I, it ain't the program; it's the character. Yeah, right. Mm, that's it's, 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 it's what the women and children say about you. It ain't what the niggas say about mm-hmm. you. Right. How you measure a man is what the women and the kids say about him. Right. So, uh, that that give me the protection to come online and play a rapist. I can play whatever kind of character I want to play. Right. Because of who I am in real life. Right. Hmm. Just like a real actor. Right. So uh, that's what I came to the internet to do. I used to call myself, I'm the Denzel Washington of Facebook. I just didn't know I was gonna become it on Instagram and YouTube. But yeah, no, nah, I was the Denzel Washington on Facebook. And, and so I caught the world's attention. Right. Uh, complaining about uh, community problem. Niggas giving kids dope, fentanyl. Uh, nigga putting the guns in the kids' hand. All while sitting in the police parking lot smoking a blunt. Tell I'm gonna tell on you niggas. And I flip the camera around where they can see the police sign <laughs> and then flip it back around. But but the world don't know everybody know me in the city. Right. Police ain't for to come bother me. Right. I can walk up, put the blunt out, walk up to the door, say, it's such and such, such, such in here, and put the phone on mute like I'm going to go tell. Man, right. there's some people out here trying to chase me. See, I get to play like this. Right. Mm-hmm. And so shit, I went to World Star. The next thing you know, bam, everybody say Charleston White, Charleston White, Charleston White. <laughs> And all this came from watching Dolomite. Yeah. <laughs> all this came from watching Dolomite, homie. A light's like a light came on. Dolomite, Dolomite homie. Dolomite lit no business bonds. Rudy Ray Moe. Motherfucker. Rudy Ray Moe was just a regular guy. Right. Who created the character Dolomite based on the niggas he heard in the streets. If you go watch the movie, he went and took a tape recorder amongst all them old niggas, got them drunk. Right. And recorded them went home and rewrote his own script and created Dolomite and introduced Dolomite to the people. Hmm. That's all that's all I did, homie. Nigga, that's why I went to show him yeah, homie, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so that's why uh and, and the character Dolomite, he fought white people, he fought Asian, he was racist. Mm-hmm. All I did, nigga, was take that and bring it here. Not knowing how it's go work, how it's go go. So I started adding other shit to it. Andrew Dice Clay. Come on. Right. Red Fox. Mm-hmm. Maul Babel. Petey Green. Right. Started adding all kind of other kind of shit. Nigga, and created this character. Somebody said, oh, that, that nigga snitch. Rat Williams. I said, God damn it, that's it. Rat Williams. They say I look like Cat Williams. Rat Williams. <laughs> so I started using Rat Williams to try to put that in the algorithms to get Cat Williams' attention. Right. Hmm. Yeah, and so what I noticed was within a month, me and Cat Cat Williams right here, I was right there. God I said, damn. aha. So I started learning how to work the algorithm. Hmm. Blind man shuffling. Mm-hmm. I would do two, three videos a day. People would take my videos and, and, and put them on their channels. And they put they forced me into the algorithms. Hmm. So uh, I just took the filter off, homie. Right. Yeah. Let, let this be, let Some go. nigga won't say fuck God, but they'll say it in their actions. Right. So let me ask you this. Chime you, that you, one. That's you, true, though. You say you lost a little bit of the political power. Yeah. Here, right? Yeah. Is it worth it? Yeah. What, what you got going <laughs> on right say, now? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, like, cause you, or you making yeah. money being the community activist. Nah, I won't or, You see what I'm saying? And now you say. You but see, that's a right self. Right. But at the same time, he didn't know that that's a selfless job to be a community activist. Right. You got to really right, right, be standing. Right. It's not going to be financial reward. But, you know what I'm talking about? Saying, well, it's, well, it's the reward in the people. The same thing well, on a bigger platform. I disagree. I say a community activist is a selfish motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he a no good rod motherfucker. Yeah, hmm. how he go give himself away, and not to his children? Hmm. Nigga, you out helping everybody, but your your kids need help. Now that situation, yeah. Doctor King. With, no, no, I'm just saying that situational because again, if you in that streets, you ain't got nobody behind you, you ain't got no kids like that, and you just out there doing the work. Well, that's something different. That's but, why I but, say yeah. But yeah. most community activists are family men. True. True. Most community activists are family. Most preachers are family men, giving themselves away, giving their time away from their own wife and children, their own life to help other people, mm-hmm. only to have nothing. Only to have mm-hmm. nothing. No reward in the end. No reward in the end. No man, and you might not, and it might not even be a heaven. 
Might not even be. A- yeah, nothing might not exist when you die. Mm-hmm. And man, you yeah. ain't had no fun on earth. Yeah. So oh. this is what used to get me, homie. I would feel so good helping other people and get home, man, and my kids want something, and I got to say no. Mm. It felt good doing this. Right. I'm with you on that mm. shit. But when I get back here, I feel horrible as a father. Mm. Shame. Right. Say that. So now I got to wrestle with, am I doing right? Right, right. So do my belief that I'm helping and walking in purpose supersede what my children desire to have? Hmm, Most of us put the commute. Dr. King put everything before his children. Children Malcolm didn't even know him, him, huh? Damn. We don't even honor this man. He sacrificed like a motherfucker. Shit, he done it for nothing. Mm -hmm. For nothing. I swear to God, he did. Nobody. Well, if we can look back. Our children, our children don't give a damn about Dr. King because Dr. King was replaced with Obama. Dr. Hmm. King is the day now. If, if that's he, what it's been brought Obama down to. Obama is the day. new black face no. for our children. So. Not for us, but for our kids. I was going to say, yeah. for yeah. our yeah. kids. For them babies. Yeah. yeah. For our kids. Yeah. They don't know nothing about Dr. King, homie. They they know, but they don't. They don't. You, you, you got Obama. You can literally do this to Obama right here. Yeah. You can't do that to Dr. King. You got to hear them old story from Ma, uh, Mama and Papa. Right. And they ain't really, something. you know what I'm right. talking about? I'll read it. And, and yeah. you got to think, even now, the 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 black the black uh, black uh history month, what are you doing? You got all the entertainment and venues that's going on during out the month. You know what I'm talking about? All type of sporting events going in, in and out out the month. What do y'all really put? You got Valentine's Day that supersede all this sex and pussy, dick ass, all the ass shit. Yep. That's superseding all mm-hmm. of that. So what time do you really have to goddamn um, focus in? Like we when we were coming up, they had time. They in the month. Oh, we gonna talk about every one of them in in line and shit. Now it's just like okay, Dr. King, woo. Right. Man, right. we 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 knew about black inventors. Yes. Man, they don't go that in depth of of in black history. You get Obama, you might get Oprah Winfrey. Whoa. Uh, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. Uh, uh, nigga, you not go get you not go get the hey, you substance. Know, you know what's crazy? When you think about people names that you could say everywhere in the world, isn't nine times out of ten black people? Those who you just said, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. Like think of a white person where you could say that name everywhere in the well, whole world, well, the jungle in well, Africa. Well, uh, well, 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 think about this. When those names are mentioned. They weak. They water. They, when you when when say, when when, when you when you got a name like Vladimir Putin, that can be mentioned all over the world. Yeah. Who a strong man? Yeah. When when we stand up in the world, we the weakest motherfucker. We come on, homie. Yep, we is. Nigga, we 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 not we. no world leaders. Hmm. We not world leaders. We don't know world economics. We don't have no world power. Yeah. So when you put our entertainer entertainer next to the North Korean president, mm-hmm. nah, homie, we don't stand a chance. Yeah. Hmm. We we don't, man. Um, America leaders aren't like the other world leaders. Man, the other world leaders came from the bottom somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Right. And work their way up yeah. from whether that's been killing, putting mm-hmm. hits, and they gonna be there forever. Yeah. We keep changing people. That's what make us weak. We putting comedians and everything. Come everything. on, homie. Mm-hmm. So yeah, when bro. so when the black man stand up in the world, everybody laugh at us. You ain't stood up to that white boy yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to buck up on me. You ain't stood up to the white boy yet. A better bitch. Yeah. Reality one oh one. Yeah. <laughs> so uh ain't no more Tuskegee Airmen. Niggas that can go jump in that white boy plane and fly it if we need to go to war. Mm. No. No. Our, our babies ain't learning uh, how to fly them drones with them bombs attached on it. <laughs> <laughs> playing video games and, and playing some sports or, or showing your age. Yeah, they not learning coding. They ain't learning coding, homie. The future of... of no, communication. And you know what? I poor now, goddamn. Uh, if you got a little money, yeah, you can go to school and get all that. Man, look, on some extra shit. Why are you talking about the disparities of all that? I, there's a guy I follow on YouTube who went in and he created a cryptocurrency program that was accepted, goddamn it, within a high school uh, system. Man, we need that nigga name. Boy, uh, <laughs> Stockmo, <laughs> stock shout out Stockmo. But goddamn. 
the shit like that. Huh. We don't have that in our regular in our regular school. We'll never have anything. But if you got some money and, and you can get to those elite, put them kids and afford to put them kids in there, mm-hmm. shit like that happens. Huh. We don't get what you get. The, the, uh, what y'all got? Uh, what you say? You learning? You get uh, the Fruity Loops on, on a computer mm-hmm. and goddamn learn how to make beats. Uh, say well, well, so. uh, digital wallets. This come on, man. Uh, I just I just learned this term uh three weeks ago. D. Had, had you told me this six months ago, man, fuck you. Them white folk go hit the system, nigga. You niggas ain't go bad to get no money. Mm-hmm. Right. So right. I had. Uh, I'm trying to pull up his name. So I had these uh, a Chinese investor. Uh. And I don't know if I should be saying this because we. we, 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 we I don't we, give motherfucker can't tell me what I can't say. We, fuck we, them. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I'm man, motherfucker, man. Fuck them. They shouldn't have got in bed what with you me. Oh uh, yeah. So listen. Oh, uh, so man, I, I I got this this thirty billion. Uh, got thirty billion dollars, and, and it's a team of them. So they got together, and they want to create this metaverse world for me, right? So mm-hmm. they come to me with this shit. Uh, homie, I don't know nothing about this shit, but nigga, I went to listening. Yeah, I went to listening. That's some scary shit. That's hmm. some scary shit, dog. That's so, so, so shit. they they educate me mm-hmm. right now, homie. Nike got a pair of nine hundred dollar <laughs> digital shoes. You can't even wear, but you can see them. You can see them. You can yeah, show them. A, you get so, an NFT. So, so a uh, digital real estate, man. So, seven thousand dollar acre right now. So, so, so a little bit of square. Uh, so, so they start telling me shit about digital wallets, and and, and I'm listening. And you have to remember twelve key phrases. And, yes, sir. Or uh, you will not get in that. Ah, well, you y'all done. We go. We on the same page. I already know. Come so, on, uh, now. do what I so, do. So, I got to go fly and meet with these people. Uh, but we go be see niggas think we go have to go back to the plantation and be slaves. Right. Mm. Mm. With the metaverse world, you gonna be a digital slave. At the end of the day. You gonna be a digital slave, and you much rather be on the plantation. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you must be rather, because see, uh, uh, homie, they can erase you in the digital world. Hmm. You can go somewhere, nigga, and, and, and you can physically be right here. But in the digital world, we gonna say you over there. And just, oh, let me just say this. The metaverse is what he's talking about, and this is this is a whole world within the it's to the point now you have legit retail stores so even put a put a stamp on him uh uh adidas have a shop they have they they got space in the metaverse so you can become a person walk into their store on the metaverse check out the shoes and everything put them on you and everything be like okay this is cool and hit order on them motherfuckers and they'll show up to your door but you're gonna have to pay real money yeah, you got to pay real money. Yeah, but, that's but, the but, thing. But that's the they thing. They got their own money. Who can trick out their metaverse character with the most highest yeah. fashion? It's like, it's they have their own tokens, though. It's your kid's been doing, doing, your, your kid's been doing it with head. Fortnite. Fortnite. And all that shit. Your kid's been right. doing it. Yes, sir. They've yeah. been scanning your credit card, right? They already been doing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they get on Grand Theft Auto and they get to a certain level where they can start selling drugs and purchasing money and go get them badass cars and put the paint job and start buying the guns, that's how they learn about the guns. Right. But see, now look, now here's the flip. You you're playing this right here. Imagine being twelve hours a day with a with a right. big old set right. of goggles right. on your ass and, and two controllers in your hand doing this all day. What what do you become? You become a robot. You sitting there. You you buy don't no find it. You ain't got no real world ain't value no, in you yourself. Oh, uh, so you listen. Oh, uh, no, nah, listen, homie. Everybody's <laughs> gonna be forced to go it's, to it's, it. It's coming yeah. there. Have oh. you ever you ever been you ever been out to they, eat? You, listen, have you ever been out to eat? People aren't talking. Everybody doing this on the phone. Yep. So it's no different than putting the goggles on. And when you put, have you noticed, motherfucker talk to you online, and when they see you in person, they won't say nothing to you, but they'll speak to you on Facebook. Conversation be driving. They'll like your shit. They'll comment. But if y'all see each other at the store, they won't even act like they don't even see you. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Get back online and go to talking to you again. Yep. It's then, the, let, hey, homie, it's the scary gotta, shit in the world. Let's man. say you got a meeting, and and everybody a part of the meeting is is in different cities across the country. All y'all can put your glasses on. And and go table. to go hey, to a location. Yeah. And meet meet up at the dealer store. That place. So so or, no, or, notice or, you or gonna your have, own. You your gonna have to have your own office. car. You there's metaverse mansions and all like it's it's its <laughs> own world. So th- th- think about that. I, I, you I gotta I wake up over the club. You can go to the club. There's gonna be two thousand metaverse. I, I want to. Me- if yeah. they can do that, give me a metaverse dick. I want to be able to go in the metaverse <laughs> world and fuck. I got the yeah, dick. Yeah, if I can if I can create it like that, there. So all you gotta I'm do going, is turn, I'm, I'm going turn there to get the kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I fucked them. I need a metaverse dick. 
Yeah, you talking about? Two of them. Nigga, if I can, if I can do all that, <laughs> shit, I'm going to get Beyonce in there. <laughs> yeah, Jay Z ass in trouble in the metaverse world, fucking Fuck with the me. Shit out of him, yes, Lord. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, nah, man, but uh, but uh, and and, and so. So it, it was presented to me, man, uh, uh, of actually doing my podcast in a, in, in a metaverse world. Dig that. Uh, so, you know, it, it caught my interest. So I started paying attention, started studying, started looking at it. Uh, so it's some young Chinese guy by the name of Alan. Uh, so they really think I can do some numbers, but they looking at the numbers that I do. Uh, so that's what made me start paying attention. Mm-hmm. Uh, the numbers get people attention, homie. Numbers. Hmm. Numbers don't lie. No, nah, they, they, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Numbers don't get uh, the attention. Yeah, so... Uh, as I begin to listen and get educated about the metaverse, now I'm hearing niggas rapping about it in songs. Right. These same Don't Snoop Dogg, all the uh, 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 so, in yeah, with so, the sandbox. Yeah. So, so, so working, uh, working uh, on policies and, and being trained to to go speak with politicians, uh, they taught us terminologies. Uh, that's why lawyers have to know terms. Right. Uh, uh, so when I hear, so when you hear certain rap songs, right, and you hear terminologies and, and, and words, to you they may not be familiar because you don't have the 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 education to know what they talking about, right? right? right. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I'm starting to see, homie, that's the future, uh, and it's gonna be the future real fast, very fast, and and so it makes sense to me. Why so many young black rappers is getting hard, cold cash money now? Mm-hmm. Think about that, nigga. Mm, right. All the real money is not tangible. You can't get it, but you can spend it. Mm. They can get the money that you can get. It's mm. something to that, and they show it, and they get to hold it up. Big old, they get to show millions of dollars. Mm. Nobody's doing that. But the poor motherfuckers are who ones who come from poorness. Right. The real money you can't get it. It's crypto. It's digital currency. What's up with the hard cold cash that they sign these niggas with and come dump out three hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars? Hmm. That's not for him to last with. <laughs> That's party. You you party with cash. Right. You don't you don't bill. You don't buy nothing with cash, homie. Right. Escrow accounts, uh, debit card, credit card, hmm. Venmo. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, nah, homie, you got cash. That's just for the day. That ain't for tomorrow. We ain't figured that out yet because we just now starting to get lump sum of cash. Hmm. When did they start letting niggas show a million dollars? Hmm. Just walk around with it. When did they start showing nigg- a nigga can show $300,000? Why don't nobody else do that? I think sometimes they do those like like let's say let's say it's an infomercial and it'd be like, wanna know how I made all this money? F- s- s- click a, click the link in the bio and they'll have like a bunch of you know, money. Uh, who they show that to? Uh black algorithms. They ain't showing that cash money to white folk. Yeah. Cash don't move white folk. Come on now. Debt moved in white folk. When I when there, hey listen, when I, when, when I when I was flying this morning it's a it's it's a group they call before everybody a concierge mm-hmm. something. Concierge. Man, all them motherfuckers look like bombs. <laughs> everybody that was dressed clean, when name brand shit was in group eight with me. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, I be paying attention, man. Right. Motherfucker with them ugly right. ass wrinkle wranglers on. Right. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, sitting at the, right behind the pilot. Right, right. Yeah, I don't never <laughs> see no motherfucking name brand clothes at that front of that goddamn plane. So I'm still I'm paying that something ain't right, homie. So why is it we got the concept of cash, 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 cash rule everything around me, nigga, when everything is on the concept of credit, buying credit power. Mm-hmm. FICA. Yeah. We still ain't hip to that. <laughs> we still got more motherf- every motherfucking body I know went into the credit program, never got their credit cleaned up. Everybody I know went through mm. the credit restoration program. They ain't get. They ain't went got nothing. They ain't, I ain't done nothing. To you. I did it twice. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know a couple Power, people did. Yeah. But my people the truth. Oh, uh, yeah. My well, people the truth though. Well, this what I did, nigga. I I piggybacked off of family members' credit with good credit. Yeah. Mm. And then I let my son piggyback off me, and he had a seven twenty three. 
Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Come on, I'm at a six ninety five. But that's, that's what they do too. Like that, you get you get them um, trade lines and shit. You mm-hmm. pretty much piggyback. Uh, right. Well, you ain't got to get no trade line. If you got somebody with good credit, you, you just, just add it on. To you it. just yeah. find a good family yeah. member to put them on the credit thing. Mm-hmm. They ain't even got to use the credit. Just that, put them on it. That, same right. thing. Same thing. Ed did with my uh with my uh, with my oldest. Goddamn, she's sitting at at around seven hundred something right now, like a seven ten. You feel me? Just from, just from yeah, that my daddy, mama, my so. daddy ain't mentioned credit to me when I was a kid. I but never you, heard the word in the house. But you know what? If, I never heard during the his word time. Uh, they, uh, it, what, that wasn't no, unless, unless, they, unless they getting something on credit. That's uh, the only time I heard the word. They credit. give it to us on credit. Boy. <laughs> 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 the only time. Oh, uh, 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 you I know, damn sure uh, wasn't talking uh, about no credit. Uh, back in them day, only only thing black folk knew what to do with, with credit was to get a a a credit card, a car, a car, yeah, you know, a washing dryer. Uh-huh. Uh, you know things like that, man. Yeah, they my grandma right there. Yeah, they didn't understand mm-hmm. the concept of, mm-hmm. of, of what credit could do. I ain't gonna use my credit. That would they be yeah. hollering. I ain't yeah. gonna use my credit. <laughs> yeah, and all and all they were gonna give was some a finger mm-hmm. hut account. Right. Boy, what you say? Look yeah. here. You hit me with that one. That was my grandma with the Finger yeah. Hut magazine. Yeah. They, yeah, they didn't know nothing about serious. business credit. Yeah, mm-hmm. serious car. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> Black people just got educated. We keep forgetting that. Within the last, within the last 10, 10 to 15 years, we really yeah. been on it. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Nah, this this people, ain't no, been on there like black that. Black people didn't know. We've been, we've been suffering. It's suffer- selective. Yeah. Listen, when I got you my- think, You think we'll maybe come back together this no. morning? Be- <laughs> <laughs> Look, when I got my credit, <laughs> yeah. I got my credit clean, <laughs> I, I, I had moved to Atlanta and got my credit clean. Nobody down here had ever even heard of that. Yeah. Came back uh, down here. And told people that I made my credit man six feet. He told me I made him six figures out of his own mouth just off of people getting their credit yeah. clean down here. And now it's just like that's the thing. Now. Everybody, Everybody on it. Everybody. But this is years. This is years. Well, yeah, now, years well now they done raised the credit score. Mm-hmm. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. Now they did. Yeah, now they done, they got hip to that shit. Yeah. yeah, I mean they hip to the the whatever them VPN. They men and white folk hip yeah, to that CPN. shit. Huh? Yeah, they mm-hmm. hip to all that shit. Man, the yeah, white, they the one that broke the rules. So sure shit. did. Come on, all huh? we did was learn it from them. Thank you. Well, we we all we think is uh uh we keep paying the the car note. Right. Uh, right. Or we keep paying this. We don't really right, understand. We really, we really don't understand what them lines do and and what they look at and what they look for to get this. Mm-hmm. Right. We happy just to get the house and the car. The real spirit. Right. right. Yep. Then after we cool. That, after that, we done met. We got America's dream. Man, now. God damn! Come on, baby. Got to want some more though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That well, you, bigger. well, you got to know how to use the credit to go get the sixty, seventy thousand dollar loan money and have it over in your bank account, and then just paying them back off their money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the white boy do. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, but we don't know how to do that. We were just talking about that with 240 last week. And, and, and the people that, know how, 240, and, and the people that mm-hmm. know how to do that, well, they if we can go get 60000 they want 30000 of it. Hmm. Right, right, right. For them to sure show us right. how to do it. Right, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I, I and I got to pay the sixty back. Right, you got the thirty. Right, right. Somebody, <laughs> somebody actually did that to me. Well, ra- rather than you just yeah. giving me the game, man, your Give blessings come game, on the back man. end. Yeah. <laughs> somebody actually did that. So. Yeah, now your blessings come on the back end. <laughs> and what I don't realize today's generation of black people want their blessings on the front end. Um, right now, give it to them right and, now. And that that ain't how God worked. Right that's now. why that's why niggas didn't get free in the beginning. Niggas got free on the back end. On the back end. Yeah, everything come on the back, back end. end. That's true. Trials and tribulations on the front end to yeah. see if you worthy for the back end. Boy, you come said on that one there, boy. This, that, that, I think that's gonna be the clip right there. Yeah, no, nah, man. Real you, life. Man, that's how you. That's how you see if you you, you vet it. That's mm-hmm. real. Yeah, and if you can stand on what you think you are. Real yeah. life. Trials and tribulations show you you can stand on that shit you talking. Most niggas can't. Most when niggas trials can't. and tribulations but come. But the niggas that can't stand on it that hate you. Oh uh, well. Uh, the niggas that can't stand on that hate uh, you. Uh, uh, well, that's why niggas hate me, homie, because I done showed you, I done made it me, through homie. trials and tribulations, yeah, and I can stand shit. on what I'm saying. That's why niggas hate me. Real yeah, life. Yeah, real. Yeah. That's real. yeah, I can stand on it, homie, because yeah. I, I, I've been tried and tested. I've been proven that uh, if I go broke, I'm still going to help my community. Still it, it, be it's the been same proven. Nigga, yeah. uh, if yeah. I get some money, I'm still going to help be my same community. Nigga, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, my wife, the only one got the problem out of me. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause as I grow, uh, my ego grow. Right. Uh, and then uh, you know how it is, man. Shit. Yeah, man. Superstar nigga. Uh, right. he got problems. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He got problems. And so that comes from you know that comes from you know the inner man of me wanting to balance that homie. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so she the only one get to see, uh, the real Charleston, right. the yeah. flaws and all. Mm-hmm. Right. 
Yeah, because to 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 some people, uh, they'll try to make me a savior, uh, based on on, on the work that I do. Right. And, and I'm quick to remind people, I ain't trying to say now, nah, motherfucker. Right. Yeah, you ain't even make me Jesus. Right. Yeah, you lying right. to me. Right. Uh, yeah, now nah, homie, I'm, the uh, I'm just setting fires. Right. And going on set another fire. That's good. I ain't coming back to see if that motherfucker burned down. I'm just setting the fire. I like how you said you just throwing niggas alley hoops. Yeah, that's it. I'm uh, throw your alley hoops. Yeah, you yeah, catch yeah. it and make pause with it. I'm gonna throw another. I'm gonna yeah. go. Yeah, I'm gonna throw I another. Yeah. What's next for the Charleston White Bros? Oh uh, man, I got a badass movie coming. Uh, coming out about Malcolm X. Uh, it it it, pr- it drops on uh, uh May 19th. That's hard. Uh. I can't say too much about it because they hadn't started the trailers yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm in an all star cast. That's uh, all. We, we I, I, yeah. shot it already. Yeah, we just shot yeah. it already. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah. We got the contracts and everything worked out. Uh, shot and got my little money. Come on now, that's hard. Yeah, he's yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. I told you I'm about to get you to play silk in this motherfucker. I'm about to get you to be silk, baby. Is it easy to balance this stuff out? Nah. But if you want uh, it, you gotta. Because go I always it. wondered that with JD Young. Because, like, yeah, we both blew up at the same Free time. Free J, man. He's Free J. I ain't famous. I'm a producer. Right. So I always wonder, what, like, what is it? Nah, what it, is it like it, dealing with the fame? You part, always right? hiding. That's why. Huh? Because you always hiding. That's why. <laughs> hiding. That's why uh, you're not famous. Because you always hiding. Oh, yeah. I don't you always know. hiding in the dark room with the speakers on. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. Dub. Hey, Dub. Uh, <laughs> but I be wondering how, you know. Yeah. Is, isn't it a, a, an easy adjustment or like how, how is it? Because you, cause you uh, really just kind of just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got man, two uh, out there in the frame. That overnight shit. Yeah. Uh, man, I, I, had a, I had a lady out of, out of Atlanta. Uh, shout out to Miss King. Uh, very prominent lady in the industry. I had quit. Uh, man, my manager fucked over me, quit me. Uh, man, everybody was man. So I'm man. Oh man, oh, man. Now nah, these niggas ain't right, homie. So right. I quit. I had tapped into the cotton game, the textile industry. Uh, so I was like, man, fuck that entertainment shit. Right. Uh, man, I'm too real for that shit because I didn't know how to maneuver in it. I ain't got nobody what to show me nothing. What were you doing nothing. in the entertainment uh, industry? Uh, man, I, I had a uh, man. They the inter- the the entertainment industry grabbed me. I didn't set out to get in it. Yeah. Nigga, they put the spotlight on me because of what I was saying. Yeah. And so, the numbers. And them numbers, right? The so, 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 numbers. so I got a, I, I got a manager at the time. I had a comedy album. It really wasn't no comedy album, but it was just an album of me talking. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they were starting to book me for you know, look, public speaking and shows right. and shit. Uh, I got commercials going on the radio. Uh, my YouTube growing, my Instagram growing. So, man, uh, everybody fucking over you. I got. I had a deal offered through Music Access. I turned down from a manager. So, uh, nah, man. Uh, nah. I, I said, man, fuck that shit. So, uh, I got a phone call. I got a, a DM one day, and uh, me, me and this lady, we talked, and and she told me, uh, man, you got a second wave. Hmm. Cause so this was the first of like 2020. All right. So the end of 2020, so in, in between the June, July, August, September, I was like, man, fuck that entertainment, inst- Instagram shit. So, uh, man, she said, you got another wave. So I kept going viral all the time. And uh, so she asked me, could I come to Atlanta? And I went through some media training. Uh, you know how they do all the niggas. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't cooperate. Dang his old nigga. Come yeah, on, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't cooperate. Uh, they they were very patient with me. Uh, uh, I began to listen. Uh, I wouldn't say they started trying to transform me. Uh, but but they started. I I would go get commercialized. Right. Uh, and I would go be rich in a motherfucker. I, me and Kevin Samuel, I would go, yeah. Uh, and I would go be in Gucci. Uh, you talking about Fendi? Uh, yeah. You all the hot the dog, yeah, yeah. Rolls Royces, all that. Uh, nah, I came back to the ghetto. But what you gonna maybe do what you wanna do? Uh, nah. Goddamn. Uh, That's uh, that part, uh, uh, I can't name the circle that I was in, but just know, homie, I, I was in a real big circle. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, Damn. And, and I, I, you know, uh, I got past the first stages, uh, and I, I was on my way to be something real big. You still uh, are. Yeah, you yeah, still good. Are. Yeah, so, because, because yeah, so, 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 what I did is, homie, uh, uh, I came back home and, uh, shit, me and me and my nigga, gang related, not gang related, 
and I bet everything on that and me. Uh, uh, you know, I feel like I fucked up. You know, some things happened, some things occurred. I feel like I made a bad decision. We fuck up. Uh, yeah, I, you know, uh, it, it was players fuck up too. Uh, it, it was never regret. Uh, but shit, man. Uh, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get my nigga out here this far with me, and we fail. Right, mm -hmm. right. Uh, yeah. Now people, people believing in me, homie. Uh, people looking to me. Uh, they watching me, and and and, and many are, are in support. But then there's a lot. Uh, they betting on me to fail. They betting on you to uh, fail. And everything I touch keep turning gold. Huh. Mm. Uh, because I understand this ain't for me. Right. Uh, this for us. <clears throat> right. See, and many don't think like that. Yeah. Man, talk. Them motherfuckers are this for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't try to spread no love. Try to spread nothing. This yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I could have got this way. I, I right. could have. I could have generated way more money. Uh, but uh, the knowledge. Uh, the lessons and the experience, uh, I couldn't have bought it with the money I would have made. Ooh, so I, I, I needed this. Uh, now, homie, uh, we can make stars. Let's do it, man. We're mm -hmm. gonna do it. Yeah, we can make stars now. So uh, I've been able to go to Atlanta, homie, and, and be in, in, in the presence of guys like Sonny Digital. Uh, this jacket I'm wearing right here now from his little partner, Marley. Uh, you know, Sonny Digital was the man who made it out. Uh, and went back and got his partner out the trap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A successful trap nigga. With his clothing brand, the little baby and everybody were. That's hard. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh nah homie, so uh this a bit out for a minute. Yeah, 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 man. So uh 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 sometime I think I'm gonna wake up from a good dream. You ain't dreaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shit gonna get yeah. bigger and bigger. Yeah, bro. yeah. This shit gonna get bigger and bigger, pipe. So what you gonna keep it always simple? You ain't gonna never get the jewelry and get the rose roses. No, no, no. You gonna keep it humble? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm, I'm, my bad. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it humble, homie. Uh, uh, you know, I like shining in other ways. Right, right. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Now, nigga. I I, I, yeah, I like, I, I, I like, I right. like, I like being a superhero to the kids. Right. right. Yeah, homie. Uh. Yeah, yeah. See, Nip. Uh, see, when Nip came through the neighborhood, homie, I wouldn't give a fuck who was talking. Every all the kids go stop. Y'all, they go Nip. They go Nip. So you know, uh, some niggas will feel some kind of way if every time you pull up, they stop talking to you and ran over there and start talking to him. Right. Uh, nah, man. When Superman and Batman show up, everybody happy to see them. Everybody excited. Right. Uh, uh, I walked the streets of, of Las Vegas, homie, and and uh. The stores filled up for me. Yeah, yeah. man, that's just <coughs> such, such, such. Uh, so yeah, nah, homie. Uh, nah, I like I like shining in other ways. Right. Uh, and, and being able to touch them babies, homie. Uh, uh, that mean the world to me. Dig that. I'm with it, man. You can tell you do it from the heart, though, bro, because you turn down a lot of opportunities. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you know to stay, you know, humble and on your own. Uh, my mama was a foster parent, homie. Uh, for like. 20, over 20 some years I done seen my mother and, and, and she signed up to get the she she dealt with the most uh, the one with the most severe behavior challenges the ones that, that had the most trauma uh, homie, I done literally seen my mother uh, nurture and love on a little boy and, and his sister who had to wear a pamper because he was molested so much Right. Uh, and, and he was angry and violent and I watched my mother uh, treat them kids as if she gave birth to them. Huh. Uh, so uh, I watched my mama uh, rescue all my cousins uh, who went to foster care because their mama was on drugs. Right. Uh, so they can be with their family and not lost in the system. Right. Uh, when I came home, and my mama had a four bedroom house in the Cadillac and had nine kids. Uh, one none of them her. One none of them her grandkids. Uh, and she was just helping other other women, other right. single mothers. Right. Uh, so I, I I took on my mother's spirit, uh, based on what I've been through in life. Uh, I grew up in a boy's home in a facility, homie, uh, where niggas killed their mothers and their fathers. Right. Hmm. Niggas who committed some of the worst crimes that a kid can commit, and 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 uh, I met some good kids in there. Right. That's all it be too. There be some good kids, man. Just, I was one of, I was in three boys' home and foster home. Was you for real? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you told me that before. Fucking right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, three, yeah. three of them. One of them, eight months. I'm telling you, like I was, I was a good kid. From LTI to the yeah. penitentiary. Uh, so, so, uh, so, uh, our kids get a bad rap because they was born in a society, uh, who, who don't believe children are good. Right. This society believes children are bad based on the things that they do and, and not understanding that children are only mimicking the conditions that they come out of. Say, what's up, nigga? That's what he's hearing. Whatever you see a kid doing, that's what he's seeing and hearing. Huh. If that little motherfucker freaking horny, somewhere some freaking horny shit he's been exposed to. Mm-hmm. If you catch a little boy always hunching, and it's, it's, he been hunched on. He ain't just seeing it. So uh, that's how that's how you know what a kid sees. What? what he does. You see a little bitty boy doing this here, that means everybody, yeah. Mm-hmm. See him up in that thing. Say, man, I done seen the little girls, little bitty babies doing this because they ride in the back seat and they see their mother do this. <laughs> Real life. They don't they don't know. It's just like when it, I used to I, I, I pull in my chin hurls a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My son would do that as a little boy. And you ain't got no chin hair. He just, he just see daddy yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Because a son can do nothing without the father. He can only do what he see his father does. Damn, hmm. that's deep. In real life. Shit. So if he don't see his father, he going to start wearing his mama's shoes. He going to start learning how to put makeup on because she let him sit in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. She, he going to see her naked up until he's about 11 years old. So he's going to have a desire for a woman's body, <laughs> not to fuck on it. Mm-hmm. At some point, she got to cut off what she show him. Right. But if that's all he see and it ain't no man, nigga, that's what he becomes. Mm-hmm. Say that shit. <laughs> that's crazy. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, Come on, man. This shit. Yeah, this real, shit deep, real deep, man. Real deep. deep shit, man. Look here. This shit, this shit here can go on for the rest of the night, man. Goddamn, we got some things to get going. <laughs> some more kicky shit. Boy, look here. I done had a good one, man. What? What, what, what's next? We got a movie on deck, man. Uh, we got the new game related podcast, man. You okay. can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, Buzz Sprout. Okay, uh, dude, dude. We got a documentary that's coming uh uh beyond the state. Uh me, Dewberry, Jose Rodriguez, uh with InfoMize. They went back to the juvenile facility we was locked up with. Okay. Uh, talked to the staff members, uh real detailed about our crimes. Uh, Dude. uh man, That's you dope. got um I, I got my online clothing sales, man. Uh, okay. The, the real Charleston White dot com where you can get that nigga girl. Okay. Uh, and what's up with this nigga shit? Oh uh, man, I uh, you, Tupac, you, you, Tupac, you, you man, Tupac. Okay. Tupac said, man, I'm I may not change the world, but I'm gonna spark the brain and change it. So I grew up listening to Tupac in the boys' home. And so uh I heard him use that acronym. <laughs> and so uh I want to be nigga. Hmm. Uh, I got made nigga tattooed on my back from the song Made Nigga. Yes, uh, indeed. Uh, I don't want to be nothing but nigga. Uh, I think right. nigga. I think nigga is a is a is a nation of people uh, that's trapped in bondage uh, in a nation that oppresses them. And so uh, once we can identify as a nation and not a race, uh, then we can claim uh, rights to our reparations. Huh. Uh, so. Uh, I think we can do it with nigger, N-I-G-G-A, uh, because those that before us, uh, they was niggers, and they was stamped and approved on their birth certificate and their death certificate say as that. niggers. Yep. <laughs> no. so, uh, so, so I created that, uh, not that I created, I trademarked it, uh, in respect to Tupac, uh, not to take nothing. Uh, and about a month, a month and a half ago, man, Tupac's uh, family members, people reached out to me and gave me the head nod, uh, sent me some art drawings or some things that he had drew with nigga uh, that I can keep for myself. Uh, That's and, the and, and yeah, and so uh, they they told me that uh, prior to his, his death that he was really heavily trying to push them uh, to do what I've done with nigga. Uh, and they should have listened to him. So uh, 
they just they 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 gave me the head nod. That's, That's hard. Up, That's yeah. hard, man. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, that felt good, homie. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Okay, good shit, goddamn. And look, we got we got split because we uh we you got some LLC. things we got some things in the building real quick. If y'all not on it right now, goddamn, for the folks who can see this, goddamn, and for the ones who can't, my dog Wayne Grind has a book out too at the same time. You feel me? Love, loyalty, and, and betrayal. betrayal. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all go catch this uh every which way, goddamn. Go to uh, WayneGrind.com, Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, book. Books a million, Walmart.com. You dig that, you goddamn. Dig. Uh, real life uh, street shit in the hill. Uh, tell tell about this boy real quick. Yeah. Man, it's a banger, man. It's a, <laughs> it's a banger, man. It's a gangster story, man. And this is for real re- this is for real readers now. This got over two hundred pages, so goddamn yeah, if you <laughs> Hey, this is right, not no Dr. Sue shit, and there's some real live shit going on, man. But goddamn uh Appreciate you, my G, coming through here. We got to do this again. Like, this shit here was, was hard. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Man, uh, yeah, fuck with this. Yeah, y'all going to have to give me a guest spot over here, man. Man, I'm look, I'm with that shit. You understand yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Straight up. What? Some, yeah. Some, yeah. Down in yeah. Mississippi. Yeah. In Mississippi. Hey, and when you come back, you got to have them cowboy boots and them overalls. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When them <laughs> California <laughs> niggas make me mad, I go yeah. put my costume on yeah, and tell them, yeah, nigga, yeah, nine nanny boo boo. That's what I played on them niggas with. Here go them boots, y'all. with that nine nanny boo boo? Yes, uh, I got I got some shirt. I got my face branded on it uh, with the nan and the boo boo. Uh, but I want I want to. Uh I want to change it for the summer. You know, them, them niggas don't want to wear my face. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get a little, right, little friendly, right. little non biased piece. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, them niggas don't want to wear I'm my face. I'm with it, goddamn. I'm with it, man. Goddamn. Yeah, they want uh, Jeff Bezos on them. Yeah, they want uh, <laughs> Jeff Bezos and what's that yeah, other motherfucker oh, name on his ass. I know what you talking about, goddamn. Yeah, that Van yeah. Keeven nigga. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who? Van yeah, Keeven. <laughs> Oh, say that nigga tag me. This shit. nigga hell, yeah, man. Yeah, what's what's what? his name? Yeah, man, man, yeah. man, Kiva. Oh, man, man, Kiva. Yeah, man, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yes, yeah. he did. Yes, he did. white boy tattooed on it. When he got yeah. Jeff Bezos and uh, Elon Musk on it. No, he Elon did, Musk. Yeah. Elon Musk. Yeah. He got, hey, yeah. He got them tattooed on. That yeah, yeah, what he yeah. said. No, no, that's what he. That's what it is. I don't follow. I, don't I ain't lying. like that. Yeah, that nigga mad. The motherfucker. I said something Jeff about that. Jeff Bezos and and cause they billionaires. Yeah, why? yeah, he got, he got. It's hit. inspiration, just like why niggas go get Pablo Escobar and motherfucking Chapo tatted on. And Scarface, and Scarface. I ain't, I ain't never Al seen one of them tattoos. I Me neither. But nigga got them hanging up in the house. I have. They got them hanging up in the house. For yeah, sure. yeah, they got them niggas, got niggas hanging niggas up in the house. I ain't never seen them tattoos. <laughs> niggas got them. Niggas got them. Look here, man. I supposed to tattoo their homeboy. That shit, they wild, Jack. So what? What you said about Man Man Cable? Nah, we ain't finna go there because we finna we finna go. We got to watch the interview. Yeah, go watch the interview. Said, it ain't even no interview. He just really was talking about them having those tattoos. But you ain't got, you know, you ain't got nobody else tattooed he'll let on them, you. He'll let them white boy fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to avoid it. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was yeah. trying to avoid it. Yeah. I seen it already. Yeah. He'll lay on his stomach. Uh, uh, so, uh, like, like Punky Brewster did. This nigga front say of, Punky Brewster. Yeah, y'all remember on the front y'all, of Punky Brewster. Y'all, y'all got to really be in our hey. age range to know about some Punky Brewster. Yeah. Man. Yeah. They gonna do that that man, man, that nigga, he got, man, why would a nigga get a two white boy tattooed on him? <sighs> And he got a black granny. <laughs> hey. Now, how you going to explain that? Say, grandbaby, who are them, who are them people there? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, the, slave, the, food, the slave masters was billionaires. But the slave hey, didn't man. get Master George tattooed on his ass. Hmm. Wow. And with that, God damn it, y'all know where we at with it, man. This has been live in the motherfucking uh, playground with my dog, HB, Wayne Grind. Y'all know, the, uh, check us out everywhere, Spotify, Apple, all that uh, good stuff. The music, PP, everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, where's all look, that. You know what I'm talking about? Link still looking shit. for it. Yeah, that nigga tag me. I'm going to get his ass. Hey, God I damn mean. it, y'all going to have to check part two of this shit, God oh, damn it. Yeah. We about it this thing. Yeah, a little stuff by motherfucker. <laughs> 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 